My daughter wanted to marry Jimmy Santario. Both families forbade it. She said it was like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Who were Romeo and Juliet? Who the hell were those people? Not Sicilians, certainly. How long is it going to be? How can we love each other? This is ridiculous. We can't be together because of some stupid war between our families. I love him. Like you loved Mama. I respected your mother. How do you respect the man from the Centario family? You judge him without ever even meeting him. He's a Centario. I don't have to meet him. Silvio, please talk to him. Papa, I've heard Jimmy is nothing like his father and his brothers. Silvio, you're naive. They are dangerous, violent people. Rosemary, you're too young. I'm older than Mama was when she married you. We live in the greatest country in the world. You can be anything you want. All I want is Jimmy's and daddy -o. That's all I want. If I can't marry Jimmy, then I'll kill myself. Maybe that's what you want. Don't ever say that. This life is such a gift. Dad, let me meet with Jimmy. I mean, maybe I can work things out. Silvio, you're my hope. My pride. You're my biologist. Where's Rosemary? She's not eating? She said she's not hungry, Pop. Then she'll stay in her room. She won't stay there long. Am I stupid to expect my orders to be obeyed by my children? <laughs> you know, Uncle, Jimmy Santadia works for your friend Gronbelt in Las Vegas. Now, his family owns half the Xanadu Hotel. You always wanted it. Now it could be part of our family. I don't sacrifice my daughter for the Zanadu Hotel. I propose many arrangements with the Centario. If Jimmy and Roe really love each other, it could bring the families together. It could put an end to all the hate. Silvio, you have a better heart than most people. Don't worry about your sister. She'll suffer for a few months, and then she'll be over. Pop's right. Times are dangerous. Families are getting hurt. Traitors are singing like canaries. I don't want to waste any lives at this table in a bloody war with the Centario. So listen to Pop and stay out of it, all right? Hey, Cupid. Obey our father. I should have wiped them out before all of this entire, before these two lovers ever met. It took courage, Silvio, to come here against Papa's will. I'll do anything I can to help you. You know that. What I want to say is that I really love your sister. I love her more than anything in this world. She's the only one who can convince Papa. He'll listen to you. My father doesn't trust the Santario. I mean, he says he's tried many times to make peace with your family. Silvio! Ro, let me say this. Now, he's offered many proposals that would divide up the power. Silvio, come on, man. Your father, my father. They're old men. Everything to them's a war. It's the Sicilian thing. Ancient quarrels. We can work this out. We're young, man. We see things differently. Look, I own half of the Xanadu Hotel in Las Vegas. Now, I can give Rosemary anything she wants. A beautiful home, clothing. Babies? Many babies. We're gonna have a good life. Plenty for everybody. What about your brothers? My brothers? They understand. They've met Rosemary. They love her almost as much as I do. It's just my father. Nothing is gonna keep us apart, Sylvia. I hear you. Look, Jimmy, I'm glad we met. Me too, man. Now, our fathers will stop fighting once they get their hands on their first grandson, huh? Everything's gonna be okay. Dad'll listen to me.
That's him. Sylvia. The youngest. The bit screws Jimmy, the cleric who's yo screw us. Smoke him. Phenopoly. Words are so difficult. I know the genial, Sophia. He was such a good boy. Such a kind, thoughtful boy. And very intelligent, too. He was going to Columbia University, a biologist. Can you believe that? A son of mine, a biologist? The Santadio think they can deceive us by taking his watch and stealing his watch. Jojo. A good friend, Virginia. You and your wife, all kinds of food here. You must eat. Thank you, Sophia. We do not hang out our dirty laundry in public. The Bellazzos are our friends. They should know what really happened and who did this. came unarmed and unguarded. He asks for a private audience. Yeah, well, you let Jimmy Centario have his private audience at the bottom of the ocean. No, no. I will see him. I place my life in your hands if you think the Santadio are responsible for this. I talked to my father. He gave no such order. He had nothing to do with it, Papa. Nothing. My father, he, he said that he will reconsider all your proposals. And he also gave me permission to marry your daughter. Rosemary, you have my permission to marry, but not in this house, nor will any of my family be present. Tell your father we'll sit down together and discuss business after the marriage. Thank you. Thank you, Don Clericuzio. I understand. The wedding will be at our Palm Springs house in one month. So quickly after this? Pregnant, Daddy. My little girl. So young. We're gonna name him Silvio. Yes. Yes. That's good. Oh, please come to my wedding. Forgive me, I can't do that. Don't ask me. Somebody has to come. Somebody has to give me away. Pippi will represent the family at the wedding. He's my nephew. He'll dance. Pippi loves to dance.
I'll be there. And if Jimmy doesn't show up, we'll run off together. <laughs> Thank you. Dance with baby. Rosemary, there's a girl for me. If I'd have known that my baby cousin was gonna grow up to look like this, my own. You'll bring the families together, won't you, Pippi? Leave it to me. Rosemary! <laughs> Wedding done, Zentario. How the two families must embrace. Like those two young people are. Huh? I bless you for coming. You can wheel me away now. It's okay. Pippi's watching them dance. There's nothing here but the watches. There's nothing in the bathroom. Gino says the rental car is clean. He wants to lose up the party so he can give his gifts to the family. He can keep his gifts. I don't need a watch from this Kunjili. Even if it is worth five grand. <laughs> Once a king, always a king. Once a knight, that's enough. <laughs> Hey, what do you want? I'm with the cater. I'm here to pick up the generator. This late? It's 2 a.m. Look, I got a problem. I got a gig in Riverside, and I have to be there in the morning. Jimmy, something silk for the bedroom. <laughs> Take it up to him right now. It's too late. From what I could hear, Jimmy and Rosemary are already on their third round. <laughs> it's a beautiful watch, Pippi. I'll wear it with pride. Want to upstairs? In the bedroom. I've got to move fast. Giorgio, Petey, Vincent, what is this? 
Don't be crazy. Please don't do anything crazy. Pippi. Pippi, no! Please! No, Pippi, please! Stop! Get Face is covered. Yes. Do you have any idea as to the identity of these men? We don't need to be afraid. We'll protect you. Your father wasn't at that wedding. Why is that? That's your cousin, Joseph Delaney, wasn't he there? He got the bridal bouquet. Then he left. We need your cooperation. We're going to make an appointment for you to come downtown. I think it's going to be easier for you there than here in your father's house. Uh, one more thing. Do you have any idea why you were spared, Mrs. Centario? I'm sending you to Sicily for your protection. Carla will help you pack. I, I'm your daughter. Sylvia was my brother. I will never betray you. The government, with all its resources, they can make you say things you don't mean. Rosemary. It'll be better for you if you use the Claracuzio name. Better for your son, too. My son? What makes you think it's a boy? I don't want him to be cursed with the Santario name. So what do I tell my son? That he's a bastard? He's a Claracuzio. That's all that matters. Santario hadn't killed Silvio. It didn't matter. The act reeked of their stupidity which would endanger us in the future. We would only have to fight them at another time. Be aware. The world is what it is. And you are what you are. Welcome to the Xanadu. Sit down, please. Teddy, 
Pour some champagne for Mr. Delina. Yes, sir. So what do you think of the show? Most beautiful girls in the world. That's right. And which one do you want? <laughs> I didn't come to Las Vegas to get laid, Mr. Groville. Hippie. Who do you think you're talking? I've entertained governors, mayors, doctors, congressmen. They all want to get laid. Everybody wants to get laid, right? <laughs> How about that beauty on the end? Vanessa. She's a real sheriff. And she tells some stimulating stories. <laughs> or does the Clara Cusio? Want them all? Everything? No. No, Mr. Grobel. The Clara Cuzio don't want your hotel. Only the 49% formerly owned by the Santario. We want you to retain your 51%. The Don is generous. The Don values your expertise. We only ask for our cut. You'll continue to run the hotel. Only under our protection. Your uh, headliner. What's her story? You chose the one girl I can't get for you. She's working her way through the University of Nevada. And she's not interested in men. Or oh, women either. I'll be dancing with her before midnight. You're very sure of yourself. I'm a hell of a dancer. You know, it's late. Um, I have to write a report. What kind of report? A poet. Federico Garcia Lorca. Green. How much I want you green. Green wind. Green boughs, ship on the sea, horse on the mountain. Is that what they teach you at the uh, University of Nevada? What good is that stuff gonna do you? I'm gonna be a teacher someday. Ooh, <laughs> well, you don't look like any teacher I ever had. <laughs> I only had nuns. <laughs> you ever been in uh, one of Grand Belt's private villas before? No. It doesn't even seem like Vegas. So secluded. No neon lights, no traffic, no people. Just palm trees and stars and black, black sky. Is that the locker guy? No. It's Jessup. That's my last name. I love to hear you talk. You talk like a poem. Let's go inside. I'll show you around. I told you, I have a report. Come on, I'll give you a tour. It's beautiful. Marble floors, silk on the walls. You know, all that stuff doesn't impress me, Mr. Delena. Anyway, I'm not gonna sleep with you if that's what you're thinking. I don't want you to sleep with me. Till we're married. <laughs> How old is the bride? The bride is 22. She's been on her own ever since she was a little girl. Just putting her way through school. Straight A student. Did I mention she's a straight A student? Michelle, girl. A dancer. You know, that's a big difference, Uncle. None of that TNA stuff. Hippie. Well, it's true. You got talent. You don't need to take your clothes off. Not like she has to anymore. You think your wife will be happy living in the enclave? Enclave? Well, see, the Clitacuzio family controls all the real estate in a 40 square block area of the Bronx. I'm sort of like the, um, well, I, I take care of it, kind of like the mayor. You see, Aileen, it's just that my father's concerned you'll feel out of place in the enclave. It's a uh, restricted area. I mean, there's not even a Chinese restaurant. Pippi should have consulted me. A marriage between two people have nothing in common. No, we, we have a lot in common, Uncle. We're in love with each other. You wanted me to get married, settle down. Not without my permission. 
Not to someone you only knew for a week. Not to a showgirl. Excuse me. I don't have to take this. Oh, wait a minute. I'd like to go, Pippi. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, I think we should leave. You can't, you can't just leave. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, Pippi. See, the Don's already arranged for your wedding present. You have here the deed to your new home. An ownership in a collection agency. In Las Vegas? It's over $100,000 a year income, plus other benefits. It's a promotion, Pippi. But in Las Vegas? It's a beautiful home with a swimming pool that works. It's a lot nicer than anything you find in the Bronx, I assure you. We appreciate all you've done. Nothing can change that. Welcome into the family. All right, let's drink to Las Vegas, huh? back in a few days. Miami? It's just business, baby. Nothing for you to think about. Honey, what are you doing? What is that? Nothing. It's nothing. What do you mean it's nothing? That's a gun. <laughs> Come on now, don't get nervous. It's just because of my collection business. I'm gonna be carrying some big numbers. It's for protection. But I'm gonna bring you back a big surprise. I think I'm the one with the big surprise. I think I got pregnant on their wedding night. You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I wasn't sure. Honey, do you have to leave tomorrow? I have a doctor's appointment. No, I have to. Oh, honey, uh, but I'll make it up to you. I promise when I get back. Oh my God, I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> Honey, I'm scared. I just wish you wouldn't take the gun. Dante and Crucifiso, do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I brought my daughter back from Sicily in time for her baby Dante to be born on American soil. Who knows? Someday he could be president of the United States. I had dreams for the little boy. Dante, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We baptized another baby that Palm Sunday in a private chapel. Pippi son Croce Fiso. Croce Fiso, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Both boys were very brave. They didn't flinch when struck with holy water. I wanted to speak to you before the christening party begins. We've survived this entire war. It's taken its toll. It's not enough to survive. We have to take the next step. On the surface, it might look like we're relinquishing our power. But I plan for the family name and fortune to grow 20, 30 years from now. We'll all disappear into the lawful world and enjoy our wealth without fear. Georgia will be my successor. Now, he and Vinny will no longer take part in any plans that involve danger. Pippi, I love you like my own. We have much work to do. You are my Berlioni in the West, my collector. You will also look after our interest in the Sanadu Hotel. You'll remain the family hammer, my executioner. Vinny, I used to worry when I'd catch you making pies. But I was wrong. I'm about to decide your destiny and set you on your true path. You will go to Italy and study with the great chefs. What are they going to teach me that my mother didn't? You think your pastry is as good as your mother's? Hmm? You'll open the finest restaurant in New York. Petey. Petey, now that uh, Pippi is in Las Vegas, you'll be the mayor of the Bronx Enclave. You'll supply soldiers for the family. So then we'll keep the Enclave? We must always preserve our army, our protection. We hope someday to be saints, not martyrs. <laughs> <laughs> Had a cozy of blood. I'm banking on the day gambling will become legal in all of the United States. Well, I may not live to see it, but what a world for my children. Dante there may be the equal of a Renaissance prince, patron of arts, respectable in a history <laughs> Pop, before you get too carried away, the heads of the ten families are waiting in the music room. How are your knees? Yeah. Well, you had to consider the alternative. Anyway, look at you. You keep all of your hair. What? <laughs> I don't want to keep you all from your own families on Sunday, so why don't you sit? And I'll be as quick as I can. All right? Uh, this is my proposal. I retire from all interests, with the exception of gambling. I give to my old friend Virginio Balazzo here my New York activities. He will form his own family independent of the Caracuzio. He will pay a tribute of 10%. In the rest of the country, I yield all of my interest in the unions, transportation, alcohol, tobacco, and drugs, to your families. In return, I ask that you let me handle your earnings. Now, your assets will be safely held and made available to you at all times. You will also have our access to the law. And you don't have to worry about the government tracking down your money. For that, just wet my beak. I ask only for a 5% commission. <clears throat> the Clara Puccio family is like the holy church for many of us throughout the country. And Don Domenico Clara Cuccio is the pope. After the Santario affair, he could have declared war on some of you families, but instead he chose to make peace. I, for one, am overcome. We change our life. I hope for the better, Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Dante Clericuzio. Beautiful name. Why not Silvio, like you said? Dante seemed more fitting. 
The world is hell and he has to live in it. Listen, Rosemary, we were always very close. Your wife is Protestant. How'd you get her to agree to all this? She loves me. She wants to please me. Such a religious name. Crucifixio. After your grandfather. To please the dawn. And we all must please the dawn. <laughs> Are you waiting for me to thank you for my life? Your life was never in any danger. Forget the past. We have happy lives ahead of us. I will keep my mouth shut. But my life will never be happy. Scusa. Come on, Rosemary. Let's take a picture of little Dante. Come on. I'd like to ask my gorgeous wife for this dance. Pippi. No, no, no. Sophia will hold our handsome son. You will come dance with me. Oh, Pippi, stop. What, you think these people don't have eyes? Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that hair. That skin. That body. Pippi. And she's all mine. Pippi feels that by sending him to Vegas, he stripped him of some of his power. Maybe he should reconsider. He has served the family well. A faithful soldier, but he stays in Vegas with a shocker. You have to admit, Pop, they are excellent dancers. They can't dance forever. The dance lasted longer than I thought, ten years. Cochifiso was a fine young boy, and there was a daughter, Claudia. But Nailene wasn't raised for the life. She questioned when she should have been silent. She probed when she should have ignored. She wanted to know more when happiness can only come from knowing less. And you there, Pete Snow? Hey, Benny Duo! Hey, you beat your record. Made a four and a half hours hey, slant. Hey, look! Yeah, he drives look. too fast. Oh. Hey, kids! Look. Does Daddy drive too fast? Only about a hundred miles an hour, he was not. He was too while you're sleeping. Pippi! You little twerps, retin' out of your father! Get out of you! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Now, some numbers like seven come up more often than others. See, there's six ways to roll a seven from 36 possible combinations on the dice. So on your first move, you'll most likely land on chance. Honey, just let them play the game. You're taking all the fun out of it. I'm just teaching them something. Yeah, gambling. I just think they're going to get a whole lot more out of learning the odds than learning poetry. <laughs> My turn. No, it isn't mine. And you don't think. Hey, baby, don't. You don't teach someone to stop hitting by hitting them. All right. Every time you hit your sister, I'm going to give her a dollar. All right, let's go. Brett! Okay. Another dollar. Sister's going to get rich at this rate. Is it fair? Hit me! All right. Never show your anger. Tell nothing of yourself. Why can't you just explain it simply? A man never hits a woman. That's right. As much as he might want to. Okay, everything's fine. Go ahead, set up the board. Hey, put it down. I'm at a good part. Come on, babe, don't read now. Something. What is it, you hate me? I just don't know who you are sometimes. Well, if you shut off that light, I'll show you who I am. Come on, let me show you. I don't want you to take him hunting. Oh, come on, Nailene. 
Every father takes his kid hunting. It's part of growing up. What do you want him to be, a sissy boy? A sissy boy book reader? Sometimes I'm afraid of you, Pippi. I'm afraid of what you might turn him into. Look, for a hundredth time, he's not going to fire a gun. All right, that rested on a log. And the bullet's going to drop. So aim about an inch above his spine. Ready? Now. All right. You got him, buddy boy. Just want to get the entrails out. Hang him up. Let it bleed. And hey, what, are you squeamish? It's only blood. Get used to it. I'm not squeamish. I was just thinking about the deer. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's always sad when something dies, but, uh... You know, sometimes it's kill or be killed. <laughs> right, Dad. Killed by a deer. <laughs> what are you, convening? Go on. A little surprise party for the son of a bitch. He's a swimmer. We'll let him do his laps first. Dad? Hey. You should be in bed. Is that your deer rifle? You know what it is. It's an AR-15 semi-automatic. Smart kid, huh? <laughs> hey, uh, listen. I didn't want to wake your mother. So, um, why don't you tell her I had to leave, okay? Benny's gonna drive me to Reno to catch the company plane. When are you gonna come back? Well, I don't know. But uh, maybe I can meet up with you all in Vegas, okay? Now what? You talk to your mom so she doesn't get too pissed. Can I come with you? Hey, I'm leaving you in charge. You're my man. Come on. We better be going. Yeah. Next time. I love you, Dad. Dante, it's important for you to know your heritage, where you came from, Italy. The boot of Italy. And right off the toe is? Sicily. Sicily. Here? Catania. That's where I was born. One of uh, 13 children. I defied the unlucky number. I survived. Seven of my brothers and sisters died before they were two years old. Yeah, life was difficult to grasp onto. When my mother died, I slept with my father and two brothers on him little straw mattress. Every morning I'd get up before light, make my father's coffee before he went off to work at a printing plant. One morning, I couldn't wake him. I think he died of a broken spirit. <laughs> and hard work. <laughs> what about my father? Also a clerk Lucio. Your mother met him when she was there on vacation. A distant cousin. They fell very much in love. He was killed in a fishing accident. Dante, it's time for bed. But Mom, Grandfather was just telling me about Dad. I said it's time for bed. Very clever boy, my Dante. Hmm? Good night, Rosemary. If you say so, Papa. One day I'm going to Sicily, Grandfather promised. I'll go to the house where we was born, only one tiny room, and look, now he has so many. Oh, don't, I don't listen to him. I told you that. Oh, but I love him. I loved him too, and I trusted him. Your grandfather is a liar. He lied about your father. Your father wasn't some distant cousin. He didn't live in Sicily. This is your father. This is Jim. Jimmy Santadio. I loved him. And your grandfather had him killed on our wedding night. No, Ma. They thought they were so clever with their masks and their special clothes. But I knew who they were. My own brothers. Your uncles. They stood there and they waited for the order. It's not true. My uncles wouldn't hurt you, and Grandfather would have killed him if they did. Your Grandfather gave the order. Don't you ever tell anyone I told you this. And I tell you for your own good. Don't ever trust them. Because to them, you will always be a son, Dario.
Watch this, Pippi. This is really cute. But I recognized that scam immediately as soon as I saw the daily reports. I mean, his markers were high even for one of the burgers junkets. Where's the stick? Where's the box, man? I know where they are now. Got in the street. And they'll never work in this town again. You see these photos? These are his customers. All phony identities. They were having a picnic, and they stuck me for almost a million dollars. What made him think that he can get away with it? He's going to try to convince you he's an innocent victim. Well, he's not going to convince me. When I catch a plane to New York at noon. Don't you worry, Alfred. We're going to take care of this. Roberta is mine. You should have stayed up at the lodge. Relax. Right. And had a great vacation without you. <laughs> I've had it, Pippi. I want to go back to school and get my degree. Come on, it's just a business trip. Oh, so that's why you want to take Cross with you? He wants to go. Besides, I thought it would be a good way for him to get to know his cousins better. Yeah, well, he'd be a lot better off if he never even knew his cousins. They own us, Pippi. They own you and me and, and the cars and this house and everything in it. I didn't know there was a problem. You don't have any trouble spending the money. Yeah, well, I got sucked in, okay? The easy life. I knew what you were doing when you left this house with the gun. I tried to stay clean and shut my eyes, but my hands are bloody too, and I, I don't want my kids in it. Do you understand? I'll call you when I get to New York. Oh, you don't even care about your own children. <laughs> don't you ever say that. Don't you ever say I don't love my kids. Martians, actually, you know, they're figs. <laughs> you see that, Virginia? The boy's got quick hands. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Rap, tap, tap, hey. tap, no, no, yeah. no, no, no guns. No guns. Good looking boys. They're going to break the girls' hearts. How about you, Cross? I want to be like my father. Uh huh. Go swimming. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> go, go see him. And be careful, okay? Might as well give it up, Pop. He's right, Uncle. Cross, he's a natural. Fearless, good aptitude for guns, calm in danger, never squeamish. The children should never follow in our footsteps. I don't even want them to know the price that's been paid for their happy destiny. Look what happened to my daughter. How is Rosemary? Um, I'm sorry. Perhaps this is the wrong time. No, no, it's all right. Virginia is a friend. He knows Rosemary has spells. But the boy's good. Sharp boy. All my grandchildren. Finney's baby, Petey's boys, good children. So, uh, what do you think about this rascal, Fabert? Take a look at these photos. We give him a living, he grows greedy. At our expense. I mean, Petey know these guys. I know these guys, too. Good, you can straighten them up. What do you want me to do with Fabert? I want the money back, and I want these Moscow zones punished. Why would you want to hurt her? Because she was calling him a bastard. I heard her. It's okay. Go in the house with your mother. Doesn't Dante have a father? His father's dead.
What's the matter with your mother? There was a doctor here this morning. Mommy, she's all right. Carl, I want you to come and eat breakfast. What are their names? It's a secret. And lots of secrets. Hey, listen. I don't want your kids making any noise. Your mom needs a rest. Don't disturb her, you understand? And you, stay out of trouble with your cousin. Got it? And don't bother the Don either. Are you gonna go into the city? Never mind where I'm going. I swear, my mother's lied. I had nothing to do with it. Come on, Danny. Gronveld has the tapes and your buddy's already fessed up. Just give back the money and maybe I can square things for you. No, no, no. I know those boys. They're tough. They won't talk. Well... It's the Claricuzio who are asking, Roberto. Hell. I'd know they had the hotel. Now you do. Who am I sitting here for? Hey, 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 hey. Sit down. Hey, this Peking duck is terrific. Hey, it's no big deal. Just get the money back. I don't have a dime. Well, you have to show a little respect. You give back a hundred grand and we'll take your marker for the rest. I can get you 50. Well, that's good. That's very good. You can pay back the rest by not taking your fee for running junkets. Don't worry. Enjoy the food. Oh, this is a terrific day. Eat. Then we'll do business. Grazie. Ah, grazie, grazie. Get inside. <laughs> well, my wife can make a feast. Sofia! Let me do the coke. Ah, I tell Virginio, get Pippi and his son to come to dinner. Ah. Mm. We miss you, Pippi. Uh, nothing is the same in the enclave anymore. Huh? I made a chicken ravioli, your favorite. Yeah. You better be hungry. Where is Seal? I tell her a handsome boy come looking for her. She's running by the bed. Go get her, Cross. Ah, gracias. Then we eat, huh? Seal? Why? Your mother says come to dinner. Don't be afraid. I'm not like my cousin Don. I'm not afraid. Come out then. So we can eat. No. Why? Don't you like ravioli? I like ravioli, but I don't like boys. You better come out then. So we can eat it. Go. They say Fuberta flew the coop. No, no, no. He's got some place to collect the money. I got a good source. He say he's gone underground. He disappeared. That guinea bastard. The old man's gonna be furious. Maybe you should have did the deed when you could have. It's a lot of cash. I wanted to recoup some of it. First. I'll get some men from the Enclave on it. We'll scour the city. He'll turn up. Pippi, Virginio, a mangiare. Bella familia. And you, you're no slouch yourself. Shame, shame. What have you been doing? Stop it, Daddy. I don't even like him. Croce, Croce, come to sit down. Come over here, son. Eh? Let that be an example. When they say they don't like you, that means they really like you. Oh. Never mind. Come over here, Croce. You eat this food. This is the best you'll get outside of Sicily. Go ahead, son. Dante. Dante, why? Why? Huh? They are God's creatures! They have done nothing to hurt you. Innocent creatures. They're only kittens, not people. Huh? Stay in bed, Rosemary. It's nothing. You 
kill people. My mother said. Your blood is too strong. That's the trouble. Too strong a mix. that Fubert is in there having lunch. We'll get him to a more secure location. Well, you know, it's a bad restaurant. I don't know why we go there all the time. You know what I'm saying? Danny, don't be stupid. I'm bail in a few hours. I sent Vincent to pick him up. Look, Pop, doesn't look good. There are eyewitnesses. Spread some money around. You have their names. Memories fail. Juries can be bought. Soldier in the clear Cusio family does not have to shoot his way out of trouble like some mad dog. Another thing. His wife and children must attend the trial. Pippi says she won't come. I don't care what you have to do. Get her here. Claudia Cross. Hey! Hey, hey. hey kiddo. We missed you so much. Yeah, oh, we couldn't wait to get here. Huh? Hey, um, why don't you go inside and uh, say hello to your uncle, huh? Go on, go on, go on. Thanks for coming. So, how bad is it? Well, it doesn't look too good. I need you. What, so the jury can look out and see us the um, happy, innocent little family? I wanted you here because you're my wife. Because I love you. Believe it or not. Did you say I seen it? It was him. My memory goes. You see Mr. Delena? Now, I see him. Did you see him October 14th, 1977 at the scene of the shooting? Now that you say it, I can't be sure. I recognize him. I don't think he's the one that did it. You don't think this man is the perpetrator? It was another guy. I think there was another guy. Sergeant Keller, you said here in your written report that uh, you saw the defendant here, Mr. Delena, drop the gun and kick it into the gun. Yeah. I think somebody told me that. I wrote it, but I've been thinking about it, and I think somebody told me, so I wrote it. I followed the scum, Dan Fubarda, out of my restaurant because he didn't pay his damn check. I saw everything. The shooter was definitely not Pippi Delena. The shooter had red hair and a scarf, uh, kind of plaid. Shoes was run over. I noticed the shoes. That's all. my teaching degree. They've offered me a job in Boise. I can't live this way anymore. You think you can just take my children away? Look, have your lawyer talk to my lawyer. So I'm back in court again. I want to divorce Peppy. It's over. They've driven me away. You can't make me love you again. I accept that. You're right. She won't take the kids. What are you saying? Be reasonable, and I'll be reasonable. Be tough. After all these years, all the times that we've held. 
each other, dance together, paste our children. Come down to this. Jerry found me innocent. Yeah. Let's just say I found you guilty. I'm staying with Mom. I'm going with Cross. You kids want me living here all alone? Without my family? It's a big house. What would I do with all this? Look, Pippi. There's nothing more to talk about, okay? Choose which one you want to take. What? You heard me. You can't have them both, so choose. What are you, crazy? I can't choose. Isn't it enough that they love you more than they love me? That they miss you more than they would me? Come on, Ross. I'll go with Dad. You can go up to Boise and visit as often as you'd like. My God, Pippi, what are you, blind? He's still a little boy and he needs his mother. He's afraid of what you might do to me if he goes against you. It's okay, Mom. I'll miss you guys all the time. You're not taking very much. I don't need very much. You're sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm sure, Mom. I want you to promise to eat decent meals, okay? Not just junk. Mm. And, um, and, and you keep up with your studies, okay? I want to see all your grades. Okay. Okay. Oh, and, and, and the dentist. Don't forget your appointment on the third, okay? I won't forget mine. It'll be just like you're here. Oh, you won't be. <laughs> oh, God, Please understand. Please understand. Don't cry, Mom. I understand. I do. I do. <laughs> Claudia, aren't you even going to say goodbye? I can't. You know what I think? I think your mother and sister will be running back here in a week. Just wait till your mother gets a taste of the real world. I spoiled it, that's what I did. Ah, hell, I don't know what I did. Come on, so there's something to eat. Where do you want to go? The country club or down at the hotel? It doesn't matter. Well, I guess we gotta eat somewhere. Look, I, I know you're gonna miss your mom and sister, but uh, look at it this way, it's like having Two families, and that's better than one. We're all gonna live happily ever after. Well, what the hell, at least we can try, huh? Krochev Fiso was a natural student. He watched everything and absorbed all that he saw. He was working full time at the Zanadu Hotel by the time he was 20. He was one of the few people Grunfeld trusted. He enjoyed life with his father, too. Pippi proved to be a good parent. That is, he made Crocifiso in his image. 
What a Ooh. shot. Yes. This kid could be on the circuit. His father has other plans, Governor. Uh, instincts of a hustler? I'm glad he's on my team. Thanks, Dad. Oh, come on, darling. What do you care? You're an engaged lady. Tell you about that, Alfred? No. Yeah, she's throwing her life away on some Greek jerk loser from Mykonos. Daddy. And I think what she really needs is a fine young man with a future. What do you say, Cross? Well, I don't know. I think I'd be worse than a Greek jerk from Mykonos. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, his father has other plans. Well, you change your mind. All right, hit it hard, darling. Dante quit school in his 16th year. It was a disappointment to me. He worked for Giorgio in the Wall Street office. That bored him. He settled in with Petey's construction company. He said he liked working outdoors. The boy was cool, direct, sly, cunning, charming, and ferocious. A lethal mix. This one is for Michael. Michael, where's Michael? Has he been a good boy this year? No! Uh, back to the North Pole. Yeah, 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 You know, it warms my heart to see you boys growing up so handsome. Aren't they? But you feel so? Was it too long ago you boys were sharing the same crib? Merry Christmas. I'm, I'm going. That's it. Now you get a lot of bitches out there in Vegas, huh? What do you mean? I mean, if I come out, are you going to hook me up? I'm really not so good at that, Dante. Maybe I ask your dad. Maybe he, he'd be good at that. Hey. My father isn't a pet, aren't they? <laughs> He's too busy killing people, right? Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Cross, your dad takes people out. He's the number one hammer for the family. Listen, I don't know that, and you don't know that. Where'd you get the dumb head? Your mother gave it to me. She didn't get you one? Cross? <laughs> Cross? Um, Seal. Seal Palazzo. Yeah, I know who you are, Seal. I wasn't sure if you'd remember. Of course I remember. I went to your house with my dad for dinner and you hid under your bed. Yeah, I was, um, a little embarrassed. I kind of had a crush on you. I don't remember that. Believe me, I would have done something about it. Um, I thought you went to your mother's for uh, Christmas. Yeah, but this year's different. My dad wanted me to come here, get to know my cousins a little better. You're not a cousin, are you? <laughs> no. Thank <laughs> God. since that day in the swimming pool when you saved my life. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to Dante. He's such a creep. Call Uncle. Governor Waverly's daughter has been murdered. She was killed in Los Angeles. Her ex fiance has already caught the plea of temporary insanity. Watch, this bastard will get off. Wait and see. One man's tragedy can be another man's opportunity. We could soon have the governor in our hip pocket. Thank you. 
What's the one? No, no thanks. So, what are you thinking about Christmas? The way things used to be? No, not really. Dad? Dante told me something. Dante, yeah. Yeah, well, that kid, he's big trouble. Don Pletacuzio, he doesn't see it. He said that. He told me that you're the number one hammer and that you kill people. Dante talks too much. You shouldn't listen to Dante. Is it true? There's a lot of ugliness in this world, son. Dad, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter what you do. I still love you. You should eat, Governor. The Arctic char was falling in fresh this morning. A little slime ball wreak low life. Stabbed my daughter to death. Almost cut her head off. And now, he's going on with his life as a free man. Walter, you're letting your family down, your friends. You're letting the people of Nevada down. You must get on with your life. The hell with the people of Nevada. Who cares? I do. Look, I'll put the money together. You must run for senator in the next election. You have to put this behind you. You can't let it destroy your life. It's been over six months. I don't think so, Alfred. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can go out there and shoot the bull anymore. I mean, I, I just I just don't believe it. Not while this little bastard is alive. I, just... I want him dead. I want him dead. Run for senator, damn it. There's so much he could do. I think the voting public has contempt for me. I mean, a man that will allow his daughter to get murdered won't see the man punished. I mean, who would who would entrust the welfare of the great state of Nevada to a man like that? Walter, look at me. You and I must be very direct. Will you run for senator? This man is dead. I'll file the day I go to that boy's funeral to show my forgiveness. My voters will love that. Waven pulls himself together. He could go all the way. First senator, then the president. And if that happens, we got a good shot at getting legalized sports gambling all over the country. Could be worth billions instead of Clara Cusio. Mm, that's right. I'm glad you flew out, Giorgio. I think it's time Cross made his bones. Don wouldn't approve. He wants all of his grandchildren to stay out of it. You know that was always his goal. Oh, it's not his grandchild. As his father, I think I know what's best for my son. He's had all the gravy. Now it's time for him to earn his living. A big step. You think he'll do it? I'll talk to him. He'll do it. Could generate a lot of heat. You want the governor to escape any innuendos from his enemies in the press and that damn TV. Maybe this is too tricky for Cross to make his bones on. No, it's perfect for him. It's not a good time. Rosemary, she's back at the clinic, and her boy Dante's been giving us a lot of trouble. Hey, it's gonna be my ass on the line. All right. I'll talk to the Don. I, um, uh, won't live forever, you know. You have to be in solid with the Clitacuzio family. I understand. That guy that killed the governor's daughter. Greek piece of crap. And he's gonna get away with it. It's not right. And the governor is our friend. Cross. Remember, now, you can always say no. But I need you to help me out on a job I have to do. You mean I have to make my bones? I'll do all the planning. I'll be with you all the way. There's no danger. But you have to be the shooter. So what do you say? Coach Efiso liked his easy life, but there was a price. A man must earn his daily bread. Still, he ached for a more innocent world, the world that was lost to him forever. If you want me, it better be nice. A world my grandson never knew. You want me? What do you think? Touch it. <laughs> you 
Yeah. Uncle Giorgio, listen, I'm in trouble. I don't want my mother or my grandfather to know, all right? Just tell me what you did. I, I killed somebody. Where are you? Haven't you seen 4th Street? Listen, I didn't mean to. We were just fooling around. Are you being followed? No. Uh, nobody knows. It was in her apartment. All right, somebody will be there pick you up shortly. What about her? We'll take care of her. How do you know where it? Damn it! They know everything. God has created a perilous world, and mankind has made it even more dangerous. I only hope to guard my loved ones safely through life. Am I not a Christian with a holy chapel in my own home? Bante and Crocifiso. They were babies together, sharing the same baby carriage. Sweet. Innocent babies. But who knew what seeds of evil already lay in those unformed human minds? My estate in Quag was surrounded by a brick wall, armed with barbed wire and electronic sensors. Soldiers stood guard night and day. But the great danger was from within. The rise of Dante. What do you wear those stupid hats for? Does it make me look like a gangster? Don't joke with me. Don't. Hey, look. That girl, she's nothing, I mean. If she meant so little to you, then why did you do it? Because I take after my grandfather. I got Sicilian blood. Stop acting like a damn clown. The family does not take risks. We would never commit such an act unless we had a good reason. Yeah, well, maybe I want respect, huh? Maybe I want the same kind of respect that you give to that slime ball, that, that killer. Pippi, huh? He's a killer. Pippi has a good heart. What he does is never for pleasure. What are you saying? You, you're saying that I, I, I don't have a good heart? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Dante. She was a young girl. That girl was a little whore, like the rest of them. Does the Don know? His grandson it would break his heart. <laughs> it would break his heart. The Don has a heart, and Pippi has a heart, and Cross is a Mr. Chicken heart. And my mother, she's got a broken heart. And me, I, I don't have a heart. What about you, Uncle Giorgio? You got a heart? Yeah, I still put up with you. You don't think I have any brains, either? You know, I love all you guys, and you don't give a damn about me. Oh, that's not true, Dante. We've always cared about you. What's gonna happen to me when my grandfather dies? I mean, Pippi's gonna take over, and he and Cross are gonna join up with all that Xanadu revenue behind them. I should be included in the family business. I'm his grandson. Don never wanted you to be involved. Well, then why don't you talk to him? I mean, help me out. Talk to him. All right, I'll see what I can do. Get rid of the hat. Look, it's better not to stand out in the crowd to call attention to yourself. Do you understand? 
Listen, dead guys don't talk. If I'm on a job, I'm gonna kill everybody there. Stop acting like an idiot. Hey, what'd they do with her body? It was a communion. Her body will never be found. Fathers always want a better life for their sons. It is primal. My father was broken by a hard life and tragedy. He wanted more for me. I made my bones in New York City when I was 14 years old. It changed me forever. And now, Croce Fiso was racing toward his own destiny. His father pressing the accelerator on the inevitable. It's business. The trick is never to get caught. They have a big industry, throws out 50,000 employees. It's just business. Cigarettes kill thousands of people. What are you gonna do? People are gonna smoke. Can't ban an industry that's generating billions of dollars. Nah, people have to earn a living. That's the first thing. So how do we do this? Simply. Very, very simply. But when we get fancy, we can get real fancy. This will be a confirmation, which means the body will be found. The communion is when the body disappears. How you doing? All right, Tommy. Boss, how are you? We got some great food by the pool. Come on, make yourselves at home. Hey, you want to take a swim? We didn't bring our suits. Suits? This is Hollywood. You could go bare ass down here. <laughs> suits is what are you about? What's the matter? Nervous stomach? Take a look at these. The target, <clears throat> the Greek geek, Theo Tatowski. He drives from Brentwood up to Oxnard every weekend to visit his girlfriend. Scum back and get a girlfriend? You don't understand women, son. They like you, they'll piss in the sink. <laughs> Listen to your father, he knows. Now that's his car, his license plates. All right, our surveillance reports have shown that every Monday he drives down from Oxnard and the girlfriends to this place for ham and eggs. He usually gets there early, around 6 a.m. Surveillance will report to us when he's on his way. I got a car for you in the driveway. There's gonna be a car in front of you and one in the rear. A third car will be parked at the cafe, in case of an emergency. What am I, a mirage? Bring me a steak over here! <laughs> Silencer? Only makes a little pop. I don't like to use a silencer. Got caught with one once. I got a Glock if we need it. It's got more punch. Just the way I like it. We've got about 50 minutes. Yeah, well, he's early. Here he comes. That's him? He looks different. What do you mean different? I don't know. He looks frail. Too frail to be a murderer. Hey, you getting sentimental with me? He stabbed the governor's daughter in the eyes. Don't forget that. Go on. How you doing?
plan it perfectly, it always goes perfectly. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm great. Fine. Governor Walter Raven would never forget his death to the Claricuzio family, even after he became senator. As for Croce Fiso, he was now a made man. Little Hammer, son of Big Hammer. Tell me. <laughs> you ever see it's made like that in Las Vegas? <laughs> never. No, you get those hard ones like cardboard. Tasteless. Come on, eat it. Doesn't need to be washed. You afraid of old dirt? Virginio Palazzo has broken the vow of silence. I was informed by his lawyer this morning. Palazzo has opened discussion with the U.S. Attorney's office. How could he do this? We've made him rich. He has houses in Jersey and Florida and uh, that damn horse farm in Kentucky. What has turned him traitor is that the government threatens to seize all his worldly goods under the RICO laws. Now, Palazzo can't bear that he and his children will lose everything. He's bargaining with the government to testify in court. Now, he and his wife will be put into the witness protection program, but they can't stop us. If he squeals, we'll set up headquarters overseas. What are you talking about? I love America. I won't be driven from my home by a traitor. Pop, I love America, too. It's strictly financial. You sent a message to Virginio. One that'll make sense to him. He speaks one word about the Clericuzio. His children, his grandchildren, are forfeit. His daughter, Seal, she was sweet on you, as I remember. I haven't seen her for years. Yes, but both of you liked each other. Yeah, sure, we liked each other, but that was a long time ago, and... You will deliver the message to Seal. Hi, I'm meeting Croc Delina. Thank you. <laughs> hey. See you, Palazzo. You oh, look terrific. So good to see you again. Look at you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, well, it's a full-time job, you know. Hair, nails, trainers, psychiatrists. Um, yes, I'll have a spark of water, please. Thank you. So. As I recall, I wrote you from college, and you never answered my letter. I know. I'm sorry, I'm not much of a letter writer. I was devastated. I'm sorry. Remember that Christmas in the attic? <laughs> How could I forget? Oh, you're so young. So young, so innocent, so hot. Nothing has ever been that good since. I really loved you, Cross. I guess I still do. Me too. Thank you. I have a beautiful little girl. Her name is Dana. She's so smart, too. She's taking flamenco dancing. That's her. Of course, she gets a little bitchy when she puts on those shoes. I'm sorry. I guess it's a... Uh, a little boring looking at pictures of my no, kids. No, no, not at all. It's just, uh... You didn't really want to see me. I called because of this mess my father's in. Right? It's an unfortunate situation. Don Clarcuzio hopes your dad has only good memories of the Clarcuzio family. But Don told you to tell me that? He just wants Virginio to know that he's looking after his interests and that he guarantees the safety of his children and his grandchildren. Is my little girl in danger? Just tell me that. It's a delicate situation. You're threatening me, my family, right? What have they done to you? Hey, Mr. Balazzo, how do you feel? Virginio Balazzo, a top mafia don, has spilled the beans, so to speak. He gave evidence today in a federal court 
implicating dozens of underworld figures, including macaroni baron Roberto <laughs> Santalisa of Louisiana. In other news, severe flooding. Not a word of Claracuzio. Good work, Cross. Now, the job must be finished. Pop, I don't think it's worth the heat or the publicity. The heat? The publicity is what makes it worth doing. The law of America, the vow of silence, cannot be broken. Excuse me, Don Claracuzio, but he did what you asked. He never implicated you or the family. But he talked, Croce Fiso. And what would happen if some other rooster decides to crow? That man must be punished and restrained, even if it means a sentence of death. There can be no excuse, no mitigating circumstance, no appeal to pity. What about his wife? A good woman, an excellent cook. But she's become too American. I can't allow a bereaved widow to shout her grief in secrets. Children, grandchildren, we leave them alone. I must apologize for my son. He's young and the younger sentimental. He's very fond of the Balazzo family, as we all know. And me, too. I never liked the man better than Virginio Balazzo. But he committed a great offense. My apologies, Don Clarcosio, but I can't do it. I don't want to participate in this operation. Perhaps it's time to bring Dante into the business. No, no, no Dante. Pop, you have other grandchildren. Petey's boy Thomas is going to be an engineer. You have a granddaughter who writes for the magazines. But Dante is not going to make it. He's a killer, Pop. It's in his genes. Now, if we don't use him, somebody else will. Uh, maybe Giorgio's right. Maybe it's time to bring Dante in. I promised his mother. She's living in another world, Pop. She doesn't even recognize him half the time. I had such plans for the boys. Hey, Pop, no face it. Dante's never going to become president. Pippi, can you work with him? He's immature, unpredictable. It's true, but he's a natural. He's ambitious, Pop. As a killer, he's better than Cross will ever be. Coach Fiso. Coach Fiso. You have a tender heart. Never fear. Time will harden it. Pippi penetrated the witness protection program with huge bribes. Virginio Balazzo was living in South Dakota in a small town. New identities, birth certificates, social security numbers, the works. But all habits die hard. They found him in a small time gambling joint. That's him. And his wife. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna go. Where did these guys go? Look at them. Come on, fellas, let's go. Virginia, what's happening? Don't worry, honey. Take me. I'm my wife. Smear my wife. <sighs> Uncle Virginia. My grandfather sends his regards. Cross? 
night when you close your eyes, I hope you see the faces of my mother and father. Seal, wait a minute. The blood is on you, Cross. Seal, please. Sleep well. Well. Mr. Gronville's waiting, Mr. Gronville. Roche Fiso and Gronfeld surveyed the casino daily. Roche Fiso was learning the fine art of how to make people happy while they were getting skinned. He had a taste for showgirls, but Gronfeld told them love was like gambling, bad percentages. When Alfred Gronfeld died, he left Croce Fiso his controlling interest in the Zanadu Hotel, 51%, leaving the Caracuzio with 49%. It was an advantage that would infuriate my grandson, Dante, and increase the rivalry between them. I, um, want to thank you for making cross your bouillon in the West while I'm gone. I'm sure he won't disappoint you. Do I know that? I have as much trust in him as I have for you. But two years away seems a long time. Two years in Sicily is prudent. We've always managed to escape public notice. The times have changed. You know the press, they eat this mafia stuff up. Dante, we can protect. He's still a UFO. But you, Pippi, they know you. Hey, hey, Pippi. It's for your safety. Until all the talk of justice, our TV and in the news, dies down. How do you rate Dante after the Blotso operation? You can be frank. Dante has a bloody mouth. Oh, dear Mio. He takes too much pleasure in his work. He revealed himself. Because he has to play the big shot, and he wants recognition. And he wears a stupid hat. What a lovely boy he was. His mother, she fills his head. Widows are like spiders. They spin too much. Jojo, instruct your nephew. Repair his fault. It'll be dangerous to all of us. I would like to see you all dead. Actually, I'd just like to see you all ripped up. Why don't you get dressed? Your legs, your arms, your heart, your tongue. <laughs> the cowards. The cowards. Hiding behind your masks. And you. You are the biggest coward of them all, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You can't even leave the house. Because you know you'll be dead. Behind these walls, aren't you? Mm. Mm. Mio amore. You just stay here and hide behind your children and your grandson. You gave me your word that Dante would not be brought into this bloody business. And you lied to me. Let's go upstairs. Rosemary. Rosemary. Leave me alone. Rosemary. Pit, pit, pit. Rosemary. I wanted to tell you something. When you're in Sicily, I really hope you die. <laughs> I would rather die in Sicily than return to find you like this. Croce Fiso knew the smell of death. The sound of it, the look. But it had been anonymous, impersonal, until the night his sister Claudia called. He had been torn from his mother as a boy, and now he was going to lose her again. Cross. This time, for good. Claudia. Time ago. You don't play with guns anymore? <laughs> no, Ma. I don't play with guns anymore. Oh, Cross. I'm so mixed up. I thought I was in the kitchen. And you were coming home from school. Oh, yeah. But at the hospital, isn't it? Yeah, Mom. It's the hospital. 
but we're here. We're not gonna leave. We're gonna stay right here with you. Yeah, Ma. You're not the Claracuzio. Ma, you remember? I'm working in the hotel, Las Vegas. Forgive me, Chris. Please forgive me. Ma, there's nothing to forgive. Okay, I'm fine. Dad's taking good care of me. And I'm not in the family. I didn't want him here. Neither did she. I hope I never see him again. Claudia, he's our father. I don't have a father. Cross, you're really not in the family? I'm clean. Stop worrying, okay? I'm clean. Sicily, the land of my childhood. A place I could never return to. I had established an empire on American soil, but the price was high. So it was Croce Fiso who went to bring his father home after two years, from a land soaked in blood where assassinations were almost commonplace, and where Croce Fiso met an assassin who would become his closest friend and ally, an assassin whose unwavering loyalty would break my family and my heart. The land is used up, polluted. The kids have no more. Same in America, yes? Yes. Same in America. Oh, mamma mia! What is it? Some hatches from Italy come down here to wipe out the mafia. <laughs> if the mafia don't wipe him up first. A motorcade. Some magistrate from Rome took us 40 miles out of the way. I was afraid this would happen. These politicians from Italy come down here to try to change Sicily. Now it'll be hell to pay. But you look good, huh? Me too, Pop. How's business? Good. Xanadu's doing great. No complaints. Uh, motor scooters. Everywhere you turn. Used to be quiet here in the old days when I came here as a boy. I tell you, it's. It's good I come back to America again. I don't know, Pop. This place looks pretty nice to me. Yeah, but I've got my head on Vegas. <laughs> Grazie, Gina. So, what about Dante? He killed a couple of guys over some personal quarrel without the family okay. Giorgio didn't want to tell the Don. I'm gonna have to straighten him out when I get back. Listen. Tomorrow, we're gonna go recruit some men. The Don says that Sicilians make the best soldiers. He feels that Americans are too soft. They're too easily turned into informants. He's probably right. What about you? Any plans on getting married? No girlfriends, Bob. Oh, huh? You're not a... No boyfriends, either. <laughs> well, I think it's time you thought about settling down and getting married. Be careful. 
Don always told me the one mistake I made was getting married for love. Bella, Bella. Tell me something. Did your mother ever ask about me before she died? No. Never mentioned my name. She was a princess. So beautiful. I just never knew how to make her happy. So what about your sister? And Claudia? She's in entertainment law. She says the villains are less bloody and have a better sense of humor. <laughs> but I don't suppose she wants to talk to me either. Huh? Sorry, Pop. Honorable Mayor himself. Senor Torrini, what can I do for you? I can say. I need your help. Very careful. I have to be very careful. But I could see you are particular. The assassination will make world headlines. If they find him, he's a dead man. You're the only one who can help us. He is the ultimate qualificado. An expert in explosives. He knows the rope, the knife and gun, of course. He's intelligent. He speaks and reads English. He never talks. But he has the gift to loosen tongues. But can a man of your education and qualification be happy in America in the service of another man? You have a son. What would you do to save him? I want my wife and children safe. For that, I will do my duty. I have to feel that the benefits outweigh the risks. It would be better if you came alone. No. My family will live together or die together. But the problem is to hide you and your family. America is vast, huh? Would your father ever desert you? No. Pop, how about the hunting lodge in the Sierras? He could take care of it with his family, earn his keep. It's isolated, be perfect. Good idea. We can use you for special jobs. So, it's done. We'll fly you to San Francisco, where you will be met by a member of the family. They'll take you to the lodge. Gracias. I want to thank you for saving my wife and children. OK. Don Clericutio. It's been too long. What if you saw? Don Clericutio. Come inside. How is this lady? Ah, always the same. Dante? I think you're gonna like this. It's made from grapes from the villa. Sicilian wine. Nothing like it in the world. Thank God my stomach's still strong enough to drink it. Sicily's changed, Uncle. Now they play rap music in the square at Palazzo Spucci, and Fanocchi hang out at the uh, <laughs> Piazza Santa Oliva. <laughs> Progress. Here's your return. Grazie, Tio. Grazie. Rosemary, come and join us. I will. 
will not drink with you, Pippi Delena. Nothing's changed. We grow older and we die. I'm looking forward to that. Mama, so beautiful. I'll be in the kitchen if you need me. Grandpa, she's been slaving all day in the kitchen. She made your favorite tortellini. She's doing so much better. We have a problem we should address before dinner. Petey. It involves one of your gamblers, a man named Tim Sweden. Yeah, big Tim the rustler. He contributes a few million to the Zandu's cage every year. Yeah, he's been fixing games in the Midwest, shaving points on pro games, bribing officials, players. This big Tim, this rustler, he's come up with this crazy scheme like he thinks he can fix the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's a tricky, dangerous business. You know him, Coach Fiso. What do you say? It's small potatoes. I say let it go. Could strike a fatal blow to all our efforts to get gambling legalized across the country. Well, the police throw more manpower into a sport fix than they do into a, a serial killer. It's not worth the action. I'll talk to him. Why do you do that, Phil? He don't know who you really are. Why give him the advantage? He's a man who will not listen to reason. We need to get all the information we can about his plan. And then we feed his ass to the fishes. We have no choice. Son. You invite him to Vegas, throw a lavish party. Then you introduce him to me. This doesn't make any sense. This guy is harmless. What's the matter with you? I'm asking for an introduction. I'll do the job. Baby, Dante will do the job. He's proven himself while you were gone. And who am I to fight what is in his clericuzzi or blood? I thought long and hard about this. I want you to think about retiring. <laughs> I'm not that old. You're old enough to have some peace. You have a collection agency. You'll be the advisor at the Cross, by Brulioli in the West. Don Domenico, I, I'm not ready to cash it in. Now you do the planning on this one. You know the territory. But uh, Dante will be number one hand. Here we are, the night we've all been waiting for. Hundreds, if not thousands of fans are here, camped out all night, hoping to catch a glimpse of their favorite stars. They're praying to God it won't rain. Excuse me, excuse me, I hate to interrupt, but look who's arriving right now. One of the hottest actresses in town, if not the hottest actress in the world, Athena Aquitaine. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Here she comes. Oh. Athena Aquitaine, Cross. Oh. Only the most beautiful woman in the world. In the what fact, do you think? She's favored to win the Oscar for this. She's a woman who continues to do one fabulous performance she's after always, another. Says, she's all right. She's all right? You certainly seem like you're the one everyone's been waiting for. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Are Thank you nervous? Oh, well, I put salt in my coffee this morning <laughs> instead of sugar. And I don't even drink coffee. Here's the mess, you bitch. Oh, oh, you deserve that. Oh, 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 my God. What is he doing? Get, get close, up, America. He's out of his mind. You all right? Yeah. You okay? It's just water, I think. It's all right. It's typical of my husband. It's okay, everybody. What did she say? Was it hot? Oh, my God. I don't know. Is she married? I think I'm okay, everybody thinks. We're not sure if it was How can he do that to her? Gotta go to work. Let me know who wins, okay? That was the beginning of the end. Crocefiso de Lena fell in love at first sight, even after all the warnings. From that moment on, Athena Aquitaine was the only woman in the world he wanted. Is that right? Right-o. Haven't seen her for 10 years. I thought I'd surprise her. Well, that surprise landed you in jail last night. Was it worth it? Yeah. For my lawyer, it was. You think your wife's gonna press charges? But, look, it was a joke, all right? Just water. Maybe she didn't think it was so funny. 
could be, but I'll tell you one thing. Athena will never press charges. There's no way, no matter what I do, Athena Aquitaine, or whatever the hell she calls herself nowadays, she will never press charges against me. That sounds rather ominous. Take it any way you want. One more question. Claudia, I'm quitting the picture. You're my attorney. You're gonna have to get me out of it. You can't do that, Athena. I am. I'm sorry, but I have to. I have no other choice. Miss Alina's one of the most costly pictures ever made. I mean, you'd never work again. My God, Athena, you just won an Academy Award. Are you gonna throw it away? Claudia, please, listen. Just tell the studio that I'm not coming back, okay? I can't. He'll kill me. I know he will. Here. I've got 200 Roman soldiers melting under the sun. Now, where the hell is my leading lady? Calm down, Dita. Can't you shoot around her today? I mean, she's sick. I don't care. We're dying out here. Really sick. Throwing up sick. Big deal besides Athena Aquitaine doesn't throw up. Dita, she's a real person. Dire. Stop. Okay, whatever. I'll shoot around her today, but she better be here tomorrow. All right. Guaranteed. Send her flowers or something, okay? Like tulips. Lily, Lily of the Valley. Better. That'd be nice, Dita. Bye bye. Athena Aquitaine's not showing up today. She's puking everywhere. Last year we gave him a Cadillac. The son of a bitch gave us grief because it wasn't a Mercedes. <laughs> so, Big Tim, what do you think of your new car this year? Big Tim the Rustler was no different than anyone else. He was enticed to Las Vegas with the promise of money and sex. We took no chances. We threw in a classic automobile. This is one of the happiest days of my life. Right up there with my divorce. <laughs> now, all I need is some money to drive this car back to L.A. because the Xanadu cleaned me out again. <laughs> The papers wouldn't be in his name for a month. And by that time, he'd be dead. The trap was set, ready to spring shut on the rat. And Dante was the bait. Come on, come on. Here we are. Yeah, let's sit down. What I tell you? Hey, youngin, it's a funny hat. Why don't you learn how to play this game? Come on. I need another marker. Make it 20,000. Hold the phone. Time out. Yeah! Change your look. Oh, look. A little rub a little here. Oh, Cross. Hey, hey, Cross, tell me something. Now, you're throwing me this big old party tomorrow night. But you still won't spring for one of them Italian villains. You know one thing, Tim? You're right. Next time you come to Vegas, I guarantee you'll get a villa. If I have to kick somebody out. Woo! You heard him. Let's do it again. Oh, two I can't look. I can't look. Three, three. Crap guys. Oh, three. Crap guys. I can't let a model. It must be the hat. <laughs> that weird kid is the worst crap player i ever seen in my life. He went through $200,000 in markers in less than an hour. Come on, what can you tell me about him? I can't tell you about my players. You know, I don't get out that kind of information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'll make the deal. You get a taste now. Come on. I can't. But my father knows him. His name is Steve Savia. Interested in making a little money? I think I can arrange a meeting. Serious player? Well, I saw him lose half a million on the World Series once. Didn't bat an eye. His markers are pure gold. He's a kingpin for a drug empire on the eastern seaboard. Now, if that scares you off, you tell me now. Scares me big time. <laughs> About as much as this big old lobster scares me. <laughs> <laughs> See, since I had that stomach bypass, food goes right through my system. I never gained no weight. What else? Well, uh, he often has to launder a lot of cash. Your deal will have to include that. I love it. I've gotta move fast, though. See, it's one of them sports things. When do we meet?
coming to L.A. with me next week. I'll call you. Set it up. Right. about not dating any of the customers. Aside from all of that, I'm very tired, so if you'll excuse me. You don't, you don't date customers? You think I'm a customer? Is Cross your customer? Look, you're not supposed to be in here, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. If you do not let go of me, I will call security. Hmm? Go ahead and call him. Call him. I own security. I own him. I could have you whacked. I could have you rubbed up. You know what I mean? Huh? Huh? I own this whole thing. So you don't lie to me, you little slut. Of course I get frightened. I can't even sleep when I have a chance. We're all afraid of something. Of being alone. Of dying. But you're gonna be okay. We're looking after you. Mr. Delena, yeah. we've got a problem. <laughs> Tiffany, who did this? Just tell me who did this to you. Do you remember her name? I don't know. What's the name? Uh, you are a funny Get Dr. Barron. You need the best plastic surgeon in the country. Whatever she needs, arrange for it. Tiffany, you're gonna be okay, you hear me? Everything's gonna be okay. You don't wanna cause a scene. I can stop gambling to watch it. Casino loses money. I don't care what happened. There's no excuse for this. Did you see what he did to her? What does it matter? She's a whore. Oh, you want to kill whores? You want to do drive-bys, walk-ups? You want to waste somebody just for the fun of it? Go to L.A., join a gang. You want to blow up an airplane, kill a bunch of kids? Join a terrorist group. You'll fit right in. A life means nothing to those people. What does a life mean to you? Look, I don't enjoy killing, but I think you do, and that's dangerous. So let's get something straight. We've got a job to do. We're supposed to meet Big Tim in L.A. on Thursday? This is family business, and that comes first, before anything else. Anything! And that means getting laid, love your mother, God, and country. You got that? Can't you afford to rent a bigger car? Where the hell is he? He's a cautious guy. He doesn't want anybody to see you with him. That's to your interest. I don't give a flying donut who sees me with him. I won't see me with him. Big Tim. Howdy. It is to my understanding that you would like to go into business with me. 
you got that wrong. I want you to go into business with me. See, I'll run the show. Where are you shining? He's my junior partner. My advisor. I got the money, he's got the brains. He's told me a lot of good things about you, Timmy. That's why we're talking. Ah, uh, Kim Fix, the Super Bowl. I think you're pissing in my hat. Get me out of this dump. Don't be wasting my time. The officials, is that the fix? I can't tell you, but it is full proof. Had about enough of this. Well, wait a minute. If we keep talking, Big Tim's gonna tell us. The hell with Big Tim? Can you hear that, you fat pig? I wanna hear how this little Super Bowl fix works. None of this crap that's coming out of your fat head. Bam up! Talk to us. It'll go easy on you. Could have waited. I'm gonna dump the car and see if things are ready on the boat. A little too bloody for you, Pippi. <laughs> I like how we beg for mercy at the end. <laughs> He'll sink in his own blubber. Pick it up! So, did he talk? <laughs> yeah, he talked. He bribed the caterer and was supplying food and drinks to the team. They were gonna use drugs. Stoked his plan. Coaches and players would notice if the fans didn't. Scandal would set our program back forever. Yeah, well, he was an idiot, like most crooks are. Yeah. You cut him up and tortured him, didn't you? What does it matter how you kill him if you kill him? I'm not working with you again, Dante. This is the end. Don Cuccio was right. It's time for me to retire. Organized crime sometimes look like child's play compared to the machinations in Hollywood. The trappings in movie land were more glamorous, but the carnage still bloody. I thought it was short notice, but it seemed like a good time for us to talk. And Eli Marion, the head of Lodstone Studios, was a don in his own right, with minions to do his dirty work. How about it, Claudia? Nice school martini? Uh, whiskey straight. Oh, the news is that bad. Smoke that some milk, please. This is a check for my client, $5 million, and I'm afraid it's not for the Brotherhood Fund. It's the advance we paid her to do Messalina. We're screwed. I can't complete this picture without Athena. I've shot around her all week. Look, I want this project as much as you do, but she is afraid for her life. Yeah, well, you geniuses had better figure out a way to erase that fear, or we're out 50 million bucks. Damn it! I never wanted to make this picture. You did, too. You said it was a female Rob Roy, another Braveheart. Metzalino? No one ever heard of this chick, Metzalino. Sounds like an Italian restaurant. Metzalino, stupid Ina. Bobby, that's why we modernized it. She's a female road warrior. Come on, it's, it's, it's MTV. The kids will be lining up around the block. I can, see, I can see the music video right now. I can see the money rolling in. So let's just relax, all right? It's art. It sucks. Now, Skippy, you're the producer. What do we do? What do we do? Well, we're going to have to shut down until she comes back to work. Shut down. Shut down. That's gonna cost us 150 grand a day. Well, don't look at me. Talk to her lawyer. Okay, lawyer. It's very simple. Just get her back to work. It's not that simple. She's scared for her life. Okay, fine. I guess I'll have to talk to her. She detests you, Bobby. Look, I know there's some people who don't like me. Nobody likes you. Well, they all sure as hell listen to me. Nobody listens to you, Bobby. Claudia, how much will it cost us to get your client back to work? This isn't about money, Mr. Marion. Oh. Then explain very carefully to your client. If she doesn't return to the set in a week, the studio abandons the picture and takes the loss. Then we sue her for everything she owns. She'll never work again. What the hell? It's only 50 million. You can't do that! This is my baby! Claudia, you're her best friend. This is up to you. Yes, Claudia. Try to persuade her. 
But let's get this thing wrapped up one way or the other. We have other pictures to make. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another meeting. Yeah, <clears throat> so do I. Can I have that milk, please? Man, I've got show business. Ah, uh, tough little lawyer. <laughs> I am tough. That's why you like me. <laughs> you got a tough little body. <laughs> uh, I'm no match for you. In or out of bed. Oh, this couldn't have been much fun for you. I'm losing my touch. I better get back to my party. You know... I think Bobby Vance is suspicious. Mm. <laughs> he is such a slime ball. You should get rid of him. Oh, Bobby's completely loyal. He's like my son. I need him. He's my hatchet man. Here. Everybody is so worried. Claudia, between you and me, I'll be gone in a week. Where? I don't know. Just out of here. You don't let some jerk of a husband ruin your whole life and mine too. Listen, I'm really sorry about the picture, Claudia. You know that I am, but I just I don't have any choice. The hell you don't. You could at least put him behind bars. Look, I know Bob. Nothing is going to stop him. If I stay here, I'm never going to finish the picture anyway. <laughs> I've been telling this jerk all morning. When he went in for a swim, I was hoping he'd drown, but he didn't. I want to help you. I'm a big fan. All you have to do is tell me what he did to you. Did he, did he rough you no. up? Did he threaten you? No, nothing. She was terrified. He's not supposed to be here. There's a court order. So why don't you let me lock this creep up and throw away the key? Well, I don't think that's what Miss Aquitaine wants, Detective Lousy. We're very close. Too many secrets. Can you just take him to his car? How are we supposed to protect you? Nina, you have to press charges. No, I'll just have the security company send the guards. Athena, I'll see you around. Boys, let's go. You're making a big mistake. But if you ever need to talk to me, just call. Protective Jim Rossi, LAPD. Hey. I've got the movie of your dreams. What does Buzz have on you? I'm going to fly to Las Vegas and see my brother. He knows people. See in the mafia? <laughs> of course not. No knock it at this point. I could use the mafia. Croce Fisto had been warned. Love is an emotion that is not to be trusted. And love for a woman has no place in this business. But her name, the face he had seen on the screen and on TV, moved him forward. Moved him on an unswerving path towards who knows? perhaps towards an early death. Hello? Claudia, it's great to see you. So mysterious. Mm, very mysterious. And very handsome. 
Claudia, you didn't tell me your brother was so handsome. Well, she didn't tell me you're even more beautiful in person. Now that we've covered that, Claudia says that you can help me. But I don't know how. Well, maybe I can make a deal with your husband. Well, the studio already tried to make a deal with him. Boz doesn't need money. He's from a wealthy family. Well, we're gonna have to do something. The studio cased his hotel and they found a container of acid. I'm not surprised. If I make an agreement with your husband, I guarantee he'll abide by it. Really? I've never failed to make a deal yet. I'll never believe any deal Boz makes. I'm trying to be fearless, but I'm scared. I'm scared to death. This is a letter of credit. I'll pay your studio the 50 million you invested right now, Mr. Marion. Please, call me Eli. My client will also put up the money to finish the picture. Another 50 million minimum. You can have distribution rights, and Skippy, you can stay on as producer. My client is offering 5% of the profits. <laughs> Five percent? Five percent is ridiculous. I mean, how do we know that you and Athena are not in some kind of conspiracy? Claudia, Claudia, please, please. Bobby, we are trying to save a picture here. It's a reasonable question. I want to know what this guy can offer Athena to get her back that we can't. I'm going on a hunch. A hunch. Well, you see, this picture's a locomotive. It could gross half a billion dollars worldwide. I mean, we're talking about a lot of money here. If you could get Athena back, which you can't. There's only one deal breaker. This agreement must be kept secret. Well, you signed papers to the effect that you have no agreement with Athena Aquitaine at this point in time. Yes. Look, I want to do business with Lodstone Studios, but if this is too complicated for you, we can just forget the whole thing. We want 20% of the profits. We will distribute the picture foreign and domestic, and we will be partners in any other sequels. What are you talking about? They're all dead at the end of the picture. There can't be a sequel. Well, this is Hollywood. I mean, Spock came back. Jaws came back. You'll make a fortune on distribution, and there's no risk. 10% of the profits, take it or leave it. 12% and you have a deal. It's not so much the money, but this could be a great picture and I don't want to scrap it. 12, yes or no? Yes. Mr. Scanner, Jacques Boutain is waiting. I'm coming. She wants to see me so bad she can wait. This better be on the up and up. Hey, you check our ID with Titan Security. Mm, yeah, another private dick agency for the birds. Our reputation is very... Hey, your bodyguard's for the stars, pal. Doesn't impress me. Are you going to come with us? Yeah, I'm curious. Wondering what my pretty little wife's got up her miniskirt. I understand you want to drive your own car. I will go with you. My friend he will follow in our car if it's agreeable to you. Whatever. What do you want? I'd like to know who these two gentlemen are. None of your business. I'd like a few words with hey. you in private. Get lost. The charges against me would drop. this place have been driving for hours it's not too much further she bought this place yes you like to get away from hollywood still think she can buy me soften me up she planning to sleep with me <laughs> so where is she who are you what the hell's going on? Where's Athena? Where's my wife? You don't do exactly as you're told you could die. Did I steal, huh? 
Don't struggle. So what do you want? All I want is for you to write three letters for me. Go over to the table, write a letter to your wife, one to Livestone Studios, and one to the police. I'll tell you what to write. And uh, if I don't, what, are you going to torture me or something? No, no, no one will touch you. What do you call this? Let him go. Take it easy. All right, get off. Everybody out. Everybody out except Leah. Where's my wife? Leah! She's not here. Boz, go to the desk, write the letters, and you'll be out of here. Go to hell. Kill him. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Letters. First, write a letter of apology to your wife. Boss, with your right hand. We're not stupid. Get rid of that. Yeah. You love her, don't you? That's what this is all about. Oh, she got you the way she got me, boy. I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna have a counterfeiter copy my right and have him say anything you want, huh? Just do me one favor. Ask Athena sometime. Maybe some night when you're in bed with her and her legs are all wound up in yours and her eyes are burning holes in your skull and your body's all pressed up against you naked and you smell the sweet smell of her. Yeah, it's the time to ask her. Ask her about the baby. The one buried in the Arizona desert. Ask her about our baby that she buried in the Arizona desert. God's world is a prison in which a man has to earn his daily bread. And his fellow man, or woman, is a fellow beast, carnivorous and without mercy. So was it any surprise that this film goddess wanted a husband killed and that she wanted Croce Fiso to do the job? in both places, but she's not going to show them. That's why we're looking for a double. So what do you think? Third from the left, huh? One, two, three, Failing Fawn. Failing Fawn, could you uh, lower your sh shorts, please? Fair, my butt, hey? Yeah, that's right, your butt. If you don't mind. She's black. She can't double for Athena. Sign her up anyway. I want to meet her. Me too. I think she's very talented. Very talented. She's got okay, everybody. Athena Appleton is back in the picture. Oh. Boss Janet's out of the picture. Thank you, Claudia. Huh? Everything went perfectly. It was a clear case of suicide. There was a farewell note in the body. Handwriting experts would never be able to detect the forgery. It was done by a master. The shackles on Scannett's legs and arms had been purposely loose and left no marks. Yeah. Cross, it's Giorgio. The Don would like to see you. I was expecting your call, Giorgio. I'll be in quad by tomorrow. Gentlemen? Oi! Where's Eli? 
Eli is in the hospital. Sam, Sam. It's nothing to be worried about. It's just a checkup, but don't say anything about it because Lot Stone stock price goes up in town with reports of his health. I mean, it is nothing serious. He's over 80. Everything is serious. We do business in the hospital every day. He's ama He's even better there. He's, he's, he's the man. He's the man. I, I need you to help me. I need you to... I need to appeal to your sense of fair play. You see, since Cross really didn't do anything to bring Athena back to the picture, since Lodstone has invested a considerable amount of time and money... And talent. And talent. We've decided to give your brother his money back for the picture, along with 10% of the adjusted gross. Your brother will not be at any risk. I find that pretty insulting. My client has already survived the risk. You know, I might be wrong, but I think that your client would find going to court just as tasteful as I do. I'm leaving. He stands to make conservatively on his investment $10 million. I think that's fair. Fair? It's more than fair. I mean, hell, he didn't do anything. Uh, you tell him we'll work together on another project real soon. I promise. We will make it up to you. Goodbye. Bitch. Great ass, though. We can win in court, Cross. I don't want to go to court. Look, I want to stay in the movie business on good terms. Ten million isn't a bad start. I'll drop the papers. I got to get off. I got a plane to catch. They're screwing you, Cross. You heard me, Claudia. Make the deal. All right, then. Then I'll get you more than 10%. Roger Fiso, we hear that uh, you become involved in a movie picture business. Yes. Salute. Is it true you pledged some of your shares in the Xanadu to finance a movie? Yes, George, you know that's true. You get involved in a very serious family affair with no consultation. You carry out a violent action that might have severe repercussions. You use family resources, the hunting lodge in the Sierras. You use Lee Avati and our expert counterfeiter, Mateo Sosa. Nephew, years ago, you asked not to take part in that necessary work some men must do. I granted your request. And now you do it for your own profit. Don Quercuzio, I saw an opportunity to make a great deal of money. A chance to get a foothold in a new business. For me, for the family. A business to be used to turn black money white. But to do that, I had to move quickly. And the outcome. Unfortunately, Lodstone Studios isn't keeping their end of the bargain. They're buying me out. Ten percent of the gross, which means about ten million dollars. I thought it was the better choice to accept their terms than to go to court. Wise decision. More well, restless they are in Hollywood. But at least uh, you made your ten million. No. Buy for me. Buy for the family. First catch the rabbit. Then we share it. No coffee, grandfather? No. No coffee, grandson. From now on, full discussion on everything drastic that's done. Understand, nephew? Yes, of course, Uncle Ecosio. And there's hoodlums in Hollywood. Let them swim at the bottom of the ocean. He's out of Women in business, it's a bad mix. It said nothing to do with Athena, Pop. Maybe. Let me tell you something. If she screws you up, I'll plan her communion, and she'll disappear off the face of this earth. And I don't care how big a movie star she is. Sure, Pop. Bobby says you're doing business as usual. Mm -hmm. He says that you screwed a hundred people from your hospital bed. <laughs> <laughs> I've always liked you. You were never afraid of me. I need your help. About your brother. Eli, you have a moral sense. Beth is trying to take everything away from him. There's a direct line to Bobby there. Just pick up the phone. Give Cross the land at 20% of the gross. Oh, let him take us to court. You know he won't. You heard me, Bobby. 20%. Is that satisfying? Oh, that Claudia crazy? Delena will handle it. Crazy money. Cooperate. Oh, how sick are you? Thank you, Eli. 
I won't forget this. I'm not going to make it. The doctors say I need a heart transplant. I'm an old man. A fresh heart is not going to help. Eli. You're tired. Uh -huh. I want to help you. If there's anything I can do. Take off your clothes. <laughs> Here? I just want to see a beautiful woman. One more time. Go on. Take off the sweater. If I wasn't so shaky, I'd unbutton it myself. <laughs> that is always sexy. Buttons. <laughs> yeah. Everything. I want a whole shovel. Ah, you have a beautiful body. Better than any of the movie stars I've slept with. I should thank you for keeping me in the movie business. Claudia told me the studio reneged on the deal once my husband killed himself. You had to give back the picture, take a percentage. I'm not a very good businessman. <sighs> Don't give me that. I know better. I also knew Boz. I don't care if he left a hundred suicide notes, he would never kill himself. What can I say? That is dead. I knew you could help me from the beginning. It's the only evil thing I've ever done. Getting someone to commit murder. Athena. Let's get something straight. I didn't kill your husband. But what I'd really like to know is why you were so afraid of him. I believe I killed my baby. Do you believe I murdered your husband? I ask Athena sometime, you know, some night when you're in bed with her and her legs are all wound up in yours and her eyes are burning holes in your skull. And her, yeah, it's a good time to ask her. Ask her about our baby. The one buried in the Arizona desert. She was a dangerous woman, and she was too skillful in bed. Croce Fiso sensed she would be the end of him, that she had ensnared him in a trap. At that moment, he decided he should never see her again. I had dreams as a boy in Sicily, to grow up and protect my family to sail on a giant ship to America. Simple dreams, but life has a way of changing them. I never dreamed I would kill another human being or lose a wife and a son and a love of my daughter. My grandson Dante had his own dreams, dreams that would become my nightmares. He plotted against the family with a Los Angeles detective who was already on our payroll. 
Listen, I got a really important proposition to put to you, okay? You want to hear the rewards or the risks? The yeah, rewards. All right, 200 grand cash up front. A year later, job is head of security Xanadu Hotel. Five times the salary of what you make now. Plus room, car, expense account, all of it. Sounds too good. Somebody's got to get shot. That's the risk, right? For me, I'm the shooter. Why not me? I have the badge to make it legal. Because you wouldn't live six months after it. And what do I do? Take all your ass with a feather? The risk for you is that this isn't one of your regular jobs for the Clericuzio. This is my deal. Oh, hell. Look, there's added bonuses. Remember that bar scanning tool sign? Of course I remember. Except that was no suicide. That, that actress bitch set him up. Cross made that hit with a guy named Leovazzi. He's a small, wiry guy from the old country, hawk-like face. Yeah, where can I find him? Vazzi lives in a hunting lodge that my family owns in the Sierras. If the Clericuzios come after me, I'll sell you down the river. Don't worry. If I hear that, I'll kill you first. <laughs> so, who's gonna get shot? You gonna tell me? You'll find out when the time's right. We did really good, boys. Proud of our last fish, huh? Your mom's gonna be very happy. <laughs> Looks like there's gonna be trout for supper. Nice kid. You got a paradise up here. You're funny, your mama. Good, safe place to raise him. Glad that they enter. What can I do for you? I'm with the Los Angeles Police Department. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Perhaps we can go inside. This will do. Okay, you know a man named Boss Scannett? I saw you with him in the lobby of the Beverly Hotel. I saw you get in the car with him. It wasn't me. Of course not. Okay, you guinea bastard. But I'll get you soon. Drove in last night? Early this morning. How did Jim Malosi know who I am and where to find me? Hmm? I don't have a police record. There must be an informer in the family. Can't be. Well, you want to take a vacation with your family down in Brazil? Do we find out what it's all about? Oh, I'm not nervous. Not yet. But I would like your permission to protect myself from this man. Leah, this isn't Sicily. It's very dangerous to kill a police officer in this country. I'd like to tell you something you shouldn't know. Jim Losey is on the Clericuzio pad. Take money. But the fact remains, he's a dangerous man, huh? You be careful. Croce Fiso had many duties as my baron, or Brulioni in the West. He also operated the Zanatu Hotel and was responsible for the constant flow of money generated by the casino. In the best tradition of American enterprise, he skimmed five million of those casino dollars to ensure our friendship with Senator Walter Waven. He had avenged the death of the senator's daughter. Now Waven had to do his part to legalize gambling through all 50 states. Oysters and lemonade, you don't miss a beat. You know I stopped drinking. Uh, this is just a little gift from the hotel, Senator. I can't tell you how delighted I am, and I need a private word with you. Yeah, of course. The key? Thanks. Ah. Yeah, will you uh, take this up to my room, and, and one of you stay with it? And if you leave us alone now, I'd like to have a private word with my friend Cross here. Thanks. Well, you're looking good. You're looking very well. You too. How's the golf game? You getting out of Not bad, a little bit. Yeah, yeah we're not good. Oh, yes. I'd like to get out tomorrow, actually. Okay, to work that out. Uh, so I have some, uh, I have some good news, naturally. But I also have some bad. Well, for five million, I sure hope the good is a hell of a lot better than the bad. 
the good news first, and it is very good news. It seems that I finally have enough votes in the House and the Senate to legalize gambling all across the nation. And the money in that trunk will help swing some key votes. It's five, right? It's five. Now, what's the bad news? Well, your friends aren't going to like it, especially Giorgio. I mean, he's so impatient. I mean, he's a fabulous fellow. Senator. He really is. I like him a lot. Senator. The bad The president has told me that he will veto the bill. Now, wait a minute. And we simply don't have the votes to override a veto. The five million is going to the president? No, no. The president? Oh, no. It works a little differently when you're president. Believe me. Bob. So we're nowhere unless the president drops dead. Exactly. Now, he's going to get reelected, and in five years' time, the composition of the Congress may change, and I might not have the votes that I have today. What the hell are you saying? If something were to happen to the president, the vice president will sign the bill. No, no, come on, come on. These things happen? Why? I mean, anything can happen. A heart attack, his plane crashes. We're all immortal. Fate may take a hand. And the vice president is a close personal friend of mine, even though he's in a different party. And I know for a fact he will approve our bill. Are you sure of the message the senator was sending us? He wants us to assassinate the president. Does he think we would actually take the life of the leader of this great country? The senator presented the facts. I think he assumes we'll act on it. You're cold, Uncle. Oh, yeah, it's cold, but it's invigorating. It creeps in my bones at my age. Can't get warm enough anymore. <laughs> there is another sensitive problem. Leovazzi. He says our detective, Jim Losi, has been asking questions. Detective found something by accident. He wants a bonus to stop. Jojo, take care of it. Give him another 50 grand. Lacrosse, this is your deal. The money's got to come out of this antidote. The money doesn't concern me. There's an informer inside the family. There is no informer. Now, we must discuss this business about our president. We can't and we shouldn't. Pippi, if you can't do the job, then I'll do it. You're a butcher, not a planner. You, you, you're calling me a butcher? How many notches on your belt? Grandpa, you give me the job and I'll take care of it. I'm sure you could. But Pippi's right. It is too risky. One can always make mistakes, but never a fatal mistake. Even if we were successful, it would hang over all our heads forever. Dante, my grandson, you must be patient. Someday you'll have your gambling empire. That'll be your legacy. There'll be no shadow of a terrible deed hanging over your head. Coach Piso, I don't think we should continue ties with the senator. I take it as a personal insult that he thinks we would kill the president of our country to further a business venture. Agreed. Good. What trouble is you have, Pippi? Uh, I'm too young to retire. I get restless. So. Uh, why don't you play golf like the Brulione? <laughs> You've escaped many perils. You should enjoy your old age. Why don't you get married? Choose one of your girlfriends to settle down. Be patient. I fear your time will come, and mine. Look at this. What a happy day. Seems like a hundred years ago. I want you to think Jean-Claude Van Damme, you know, raw male energy. Aren't we supposed to be showing how a woman deals with power as opposed to a man? Well, so throwing a little Denzel Washington for the humanity part. Now, violence sells its blood and guts. You know, it's testosterone. Car, I never know so that you talked to Eli. I was there. He promised to give Cross his points. I am not discussing this topic today. Get him on the phone. Claudia, I am trying to keep this quiet until after the market closes, but we lost Eli this morning. That can't be true. Yeah, well, Eli is dead. Now, luckily, I am running the studio, but as far as honoring any hearsay... Kind I was of... just with him last night. Really? Wow. 
You don't think that's what killed him, do you? Love is not a reliable emotion, no matter how deep. Love does not ensure gratitude, does not ensure obedience, does not provide harmony in so difficult a world. Crocifiso knew that, but still he was drawn to her. He tried, but he couldn't break away. I can hurry and make you some eggs and bacon if you like. I really don't have time. When do I see you again? I got a lot of things to do in Vegas. I'll call you next week. This is goodbye, isn't it? You paid off your obligation. What do you think I am? Dangerous. Because you think I used you to get my husband killed, right? Hey, you put it out there. You think I actually killed my baby? To tell you the truth, I don't know what to believe. I know you're busy, but there's something I'd like to show you. Can you spare this morning and catch a later flight? I don't know. It's important. I want to take you somewhere. You gonna tell me what's going on here? Just wait. This is my daughter, Bethany. Hi, honey. It's mommy. Oh, that's pretty. I brought a friend with me. His name is Cross. <laughs> Isn't that a funny name? Hi, Bethany. Hey, what do you say we go outside with the other kids? It's a beautiful day. We can sit under our favorite tree. Cross, look. <laughs> what did the doctor say? Bethany's autistic. Do they know what happened? Nobody really knows, but when she was a baby, Boz threw her up in the air, and he let her drop deliberately. She had a concussion. I was afraid that he was going to kill both of us, so I ran away. I began to notice that she was slipping into a world of her own. I was just frantic. I thought that maybe her brain had been injured. I took her to see millions of doctors and tests. They keep saying that nothing could have prevented it and that nothing can change it. But you don't believe it. I'm going to quit the movie business after this film. There's this doctor in France. I'm going to take Bethany there. Live there. So this was the baby that I told Boz I buried in the desert. I thought it would protect her from him. And then he appeared again in my life, and I was just terrified that he would kill me, and then Bethany would be left alone. Remember, I'll help you in any way I can. Well, then call me when you get back. And let's be together as much as we can until the picture's over, okay? Because after that, I go to France. I think I'm starting to fall in love. There's something I have to ask you. Did you kill Buzz? Did you have him killed? No. I had nothing to do. 
through with it. I swear. Yeah. You just wait until my brother hears how you've screwed him. Claudia, nobody screwed your brother. Skippy, did anyone screw her brother? No. We returned all of your brother's money. With interest. With interest. But you took away the points that he owned in Nestalina. And that was promised by Eli Marion himself. Claudia, Claudia, policies have changed since I took over the studio. Oh, I promise I will make it up to you. I promise. You guys have no idea who you're dealing with. This is Bobby Bance, the spit in the face on Claire Cuso. He's clever. He knows Cross won't take him to court. You gotta admit, it's good business on his part. Oh, grandson, how would you solve this problem? I'd cut him into pieces. And you, Croce Fiso? I'd accept it and learn from it. I got burned because I didn't believe they had the guts. You can't ignore it. You'll be taken for a fool, and men all over the world will refuse you any respect. Pippi? Do the civilized business thing. We should buy the studio. <laughs> you know what kind of money we're talking about. Feel your meal. Money is like whipped cream. Take a small amount and then you whip it into a froth with bonds, loans, stock shares. Banks controls the studio. He'll never sell. He wouldn't sell for 10 billion. Maybe I'll go out and give him a kiss. So who gets the studio? Cross? Dante, neither of us could run a studio. We're not ruthless enough. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> something to put her out. They know how to handle it. Tell me about the Centario Wars, Pop. Did she tell you to ask me that? She was talking about it. Well, it was a bad time. The Centario killed her brother, Silvio. Oh. What else? Well, the Don doesn't wish that to be discussed. Ever. I didn't do well, did I? With the Don. No, you did okay. But the Don was right. You can't let anybody screw you twice. We have to show these Hollywood malandrini. Buy the studio up from under. Hey, you heard the Don. I should get married. Settle down. You know, I was thinking. Yeah, I know what you were thinking. You're like Goldilocks. The one in New York is too hard, the one in Chicago is too soft. Yeah, but the one in L.A., she's just ready. <laughs> Michelle's a good girl, Pop. I wish you the best. But it's just gonna be a little strange calling someone younger than I am, Mom. Hey, um... Be careful, huh? Of what? Everything. Listen, maybe I should have let you go with your mother. I was selfish. I needed you. (laughs) 
You heard me, Michelle. You've been nagging me to marry you for three years now, so let's do it. No, no this is no joke. I'm gonna retire, play some golf, be a good husband. You like Las Vegas? Hey, I'll buy you a new house. No. Yeah, I mean it all the way. Hey, you wanna have a kid? Hey, we'll have a kid. No, 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 no. You, you don't have to drive out to the airport to meet me. Just be ready for me when I get to your place. Oh, and, uh, say a few of those mantras, huh? We're gonna need them. I love you, babe. play with that. There's ants all over it here. I have some more cake in here if you want it. Mm. Mexican chocolate and whipped cream. Bethany. Oh. 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 Ooh, very nice. <laughs> Mexican chocolate, whipped cream, and ants. Delicious. <laughs> she thinks you're autistic like her. <laughs> well, maybe she's right. <laughs> Well, maybe the doctor in France can help her. Well, what if he can't? Then I'll take care of her. Nothing else is more important to me. Hmm. What are you thinking about? We used to go up to this lodge in the Sierras. My mom and dad would dance for us sometimes. For Claudia and me. And I never thought I'd be that happy again. Until right now. Don't cut me out. Don't you cut me out of your life. He's not here. Okay, I'll tell him when he gets in. Who's Giorgio? He's just a relative. <laughs> How does he know you were here? I don't know. Maybe he's got a crush on you. I'm sick of all this secrets and mystery and secret deals. Yeah, well, we all have our secrets, don't we? Come here. I'm gonna tell you a secret. some really bad news. Okay, put the guard back up. It's okay. Let him in. What is it? Just stay here. Don't come up. <sighs> I'm not gonna stay here. It could be dangerous. Please, just do as I say. No, Cross. I want to know who's coming into my house. It's my cousin. You can't even trust your cousin? You can't trust anybody. Wrong, Cross. You can trust me.
guy staying here? Petey. Russ. What are you doing here? Uh, Georgie, you're charging the plane. Let's go sit in the car. Hello. Athena, Petey. Hi, Petey. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is my cousin. Come on in. Can I get you some coffee? No. No, thank you. So, what's the bad news? I need to talk to you alone. It's okay. Gross. Something's happened to your father. Pippi got shot by some punk movie mugger. I'm sorry, Gross. He's dead. He shot this mugger as he was running away. But they need you to identify the body and do the paperwork. The old man wants him buried in Quark. When did it happen? We found out about eight last night. Georgie, I'll try to call you. God, through your mercy, those who have lived in faith find eternal peace. Bless this grave and send your angel to watch over it. Forgive the sins of our brother, whose body we bury here. Welcome him into your presence. And with your saints, let him rejoice in you forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Benedicat vos omnipotens Dei. Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Descendus et pervos et mani et semper. Amen. was a prince, a prince. And this is his princess, huh? His little girl, Machiavella Ragazzo. Machiavella Ragazzo. I can't do this. Of course you can. He was my father, my father. I wouldn't even see him for all those years. You understood. Claire Cousy, I think they own him. That's why I'm here today. Let them know I own him too. I have some questions. You sent Petey and Vincent in an armored car to get me. You had them guard me until I got here. Seem wise to be prepared until we have all the facts. I made a full investigation. A petty thief, a black man named Hugh Mallow, made a mistake. And a foolish tragedy ensued. Most tragedies are foolish. There are many coincidences. Detective Jim Losey is on the family payroll. 
Out of the thousands of detectives and policemen in Los Angeles, he is the one who stumbles onto the killing. And how did this street mugger get that close to Pepe Delena? What are you saying? I wonder if the Clericuzio decided that the number one soldier became a danger to them. I never thought you'd speak to me with such disrespect. I just don't understand. What mugger fires six shots before running? Do you think you'd still be alive if we were responsible for your father's death? No. Accept the facts and know that you have your father's place in the family. Thank you, Don Gregorio. I knew that his questions were still not answered. I knew he now wondered about the life he was leading, to grow old like his father, taking all the risks, and then still to be killed in cold blood. I knew he was weighing this against the love he had for this woman, Athena Aquitaine, and what his life might be with her. Never step foot in this house again. Do you hear that? You evil son of a bitch! Ma, keep your voice down, please, huh? You don't want to wake up Grandpa. I'm leaving. I want you to take me. take you back upstairs. You don't belong here. I am leaving. Ma, there's nothing to be afraid of. I'm here. I'm going to protect you. Listen to me, baby boy. You're dreaming. The only way you could ever protect me is to be as powerful as the Don himself. You got that? I'm here to see Rosemary Claire Cusio. I don't think I have you. Uh... I'm uh, Crucificio Delena. I'm a nephew. Oh. Miss Claire Cusio is having a medical procedure just now. You'll have to wait. It could take up to an hour. Oh, that's okay. Okay, <laughs> right this way. Mr. Delena, I can take you in now. do anything to my father. It's a terrible thing, isn't it? To wish somebody's dead. You fill the air and the earth with poison for them. Do you think that Don will just let this pass? Aunt Rose, you can't kill anyone by just wishing for it. I'm sure that Don doesn't hold me responsible for my father's death. They're just giving me these treatments here and it makes everything a little bit fuzzy. So Unreal. He just wants me to forget. But it doesn't make any difference what anybody does here. After all these years, I can't forget. It's all right. Oh, you have to go. You have to get out of here. I'll kill you, too. You don't understand. He'll kill you, too. Get down, Rose. You're going to have everyone in here. No, my father fooled you. He fools everybody. He's very tricky. He fools everyone. Now, Rose, tell me. Tell me what made you so upset you wanted to come back here. Why don't you ask them to tell you what happened in the... It's an audio war. Can you understand it? (laughs) 
your father was still wearing his dancing shoes. And that's how I recognized him. And George Hill was in my front. And Vincent was in the behind. Petey was to the right. And they came to kill me. My own brothers came to kill me. Rosemary. Oh, my father brought them to take you. You have to go. Rosemary. Rosemary. Where are your brothers? Come on, we're not gonna hurt you. The Don wants to see you in quiet. We can't leave it here like this. Sure, we can. The nurses shoot her up. I just want to know one thing. Am I going to be knocked off like my father? Pop, why does Cross have to know about this? We can't benefit him or us. Crucifixion. E. No thanks, Uncle P. We owe it to him. And we owe it to Pepe. Make of this story what you will. But know that I and my sons are innocent of the crime you suspect. Pippi was a son to me, as you are to me, a grandson. All of Clericusio blood. We should have wiped the Santario family out in the very beginning. Don Santario, may God have mercy on his soul, had six sons. His youngest one was Jimmy Santario. He and my daughter, Rosemary, fell in love. On the day they were married, she was carrying his child. The Santario had killed my son, Silvio. I swear to you, we had nothing to do with Silvio's death. I swear to you, on the head of my father. How could I forgive that? Daughter or no daughter? Outside. It's a joke. The funny joke. Don't, please. Please, don't do anything crazy. Baby, baby, no, please, no, baby, please, no. So you see, Dante is Jimmy Santario's son, and you, Cross, shared the same baby carriage with him when you were infants. I tried to make it up to Dante for the loss of his father. Try to help my daughter recover from her grief. My father did that? Are you kidding? Your father was magnificent. He was a genius. He could plan an operation like Napoleon. Your father, Pippi, he was one of a kind. He was our best soldier. And Rosemary never talked? No. She did even better. She went crazy. You think we're heartless. I can see it in your face. Your father made one mistake. He never should have spared Rosemary. Although I loved him for it. Crucifiso. Your father met with some bad luck. You must accept. I think we should kill this detective, Jim Rossi, but I told you that a long time ago. You don't believe the story? It's a disgrace, that story. There is no way a qualified man like you, father, would let a mother like that get close to him. The Don believes it. I would never contradict Don Clarcusio. But let me kill this Jim Rossi, huh? Just to make sure. What the Clarcusio is behind him. Who would you fight for, Leo? Me or the Claracuzio? I have no choice. I'm too close to you. I'm too close to your father. They would never let me live if you go down. I don't know. Maybe it's just, you know, one of those things that happen. 
Strange coincidence. No, it's Jim Losey. Why? Why Jim Losey? That's what we have to find out. Right. Former crew of six men, ones that are loyal to you, but none from the Bronx Enclave. Have them ready. Find out what you can about Losey. You are uh, going to see your fiance. Huh? <laughs> uh, she's not my fiance yet, but yeah, that that was my intention. If she agrees. Bravo. I wish you all the best, huh? She knows about family business. No. I'm gonna gather up my soldiers and form my own army. Will you be with me? Are you with me? So I'm ambitious. Is it a sin for a woman to be ambitious? I can't see her face enough. Cut! They call this work? Who wouldn't want to be one of her soldiers? The camera loves Sophie, I mean, she really doesn't have to do much. It just registers. This has to be Claudia's handsome brother I've been hearing so much about. Thaline Fan. I'm Cross. I hear that they've enlarged your part. Congratulations. Yeah, now I get a chance to shake my butt ten times instead of six. Yeah, well, we all have to shake our butt one time or another. <laughs> I'll be right back. I have something I want to talk to you about. I'm scared. Hugh Marlowe was a friend of mine. Hugh Marlowe? The man they say shot your father. Look, he never even had a gun. I grew up with him. He did small-time drugs and played the clarinet. Jim Lowe used to pick him up and ride him around so he could spot dealers for him. He was a police informant. And now, all of a sudden, he's a mugger and a murderer? Marlowe wouldn't harm his soul. Remember, I'm not the one that told you. getting pretty turned out in there. <laughs> Watching you and that guy with the toga. His hands all over you. Hey, in hey, my costume. There you go. Hey. Joan of Arc, or Marie Curie, a really great heroine, pure of body and mind. The truth is, I'm no saint. I've done some things I'm not proud of. Right. I don't care about that. Will you stay with me tonight? Those things you said about coming to France with me and Bethany, did you mean them? Yes. I just have to figure things out before I can break away. You feel Sharky? I need to talk to you. Ten grand. For the beer. 
If I hear the right answers, there's another 20 grand for you. And if you keep your mouth shut about me being here, it's another 50 grand in a couple months. You were partners with Jim Losey for the last 10 years. You are making a lot of money on the side. You want to tell me why he retired? So is Jim Losey after. Well, I can tell you he's the bravest and the smartest cop I ever knew. How about honest? We were cops in Los Angeles. Did you and Losey ever use a black kid named Hugh Marlowe to finger big shot drug dealers? A guy afraid of his own shadow. So, when you heard Jim shot him running from a murder, you were surprised, right? Yeah, it was fishy. There was a whole lot of stuff that was fishy. That's why I quit. You know, Jimbo, he started making me real nervous. He was even talking about making a movie about his life. And there's a whole lot of stuff we did I wouldn't want to see in no damn movie. Last question. Hmm? Did you ever see Jim Losey? The skinny young guy. Guy always wearing hats. A little Italian guy, yeah. We had lunch. Jim told me to get lost. There was something spooky about that guy. 20 grand. Remember, you keep your mouth shut. This is yours. I know who you are. Who you really are. That's why I don't take your old damn briefcase right now. <sighs> Between you and Losi, I don't know who's going to kill me first. By the way, money or no money, I don't ever want to see you again. I'm out of the loop. I am retired. Uh, It was Dante. Dante killed my father. Child, we're sending children into the battlefield. What men talk about? Victory? Glory? All I see are dead children. This is the world of men that I've aspired to, and I give it back. I don't want it anymore. Enough of the violence. Enough! Hey, in and son. Hold it. And cut! Check the gate, please. Gate's clear. It's a wrap! God. Oh, yeah, I'm not as tough as Van Damme. Oh, much more beautiful. I'll never make a picture with such. Uh, I'm retiring after this. Mm -hmm. Do that, this picture's gonna put you over the top. You're gonna make almost as much as Arnold, anyway. <laughs> Croce Fiso is throwing a rap party for the cast and crew of Messalina at the Zanadu Hotel. He invited Dante and the starstruck detective Jim Losey to attend. He put him up in a villa. It was time for a showdown, but Dante had his own plans. I have word that Dante has a crew from the Enclave digging your grave in the desert. We must be careful tonight. After tonight, that's what I worry about. Then we have the down to deal with. We could stop everything, huh? And lay our troubles before him. He won't decide against his grandson, the Don. He's grown a little soft, huh? He let those people from Hollywood cheat you. He never would have allowed such disrespect before. I'm sure he's got a plan to get even with Hollywood. Never underestimate him. I have to kill Dante. I have no choice. Dante killed my father. So now he has to kill me.
Our men are in place. I control the entire villa compound. None of them know what you and I will do. Cross? You're here? The villa is beautiful and the flowers. Can you come to my suite? I can't leave here right now. Is something wrong? I'll just come here. I'll send the car and security. They'll be waiting outside your villa. Okay. to watch out for her. Dante's crazy enough to do anything. Do you believe this place? A person could live for a year on those gold faucets alone. Hey, we're gonna live with those. Hot and cold running women. Better than the Roman emperors. Salud. The important thing is that we get Cross down here alone. Look, I'm gonna tell Cross. Giorgio flew in secretly and wants to see him. He ducked him once when Pippi was killed. He won't do that again. But what if he does? I don't want to be sitting here pulling my butt all night. Listen, Athena is right next door. Just go tap on the door, get lucky. Now we'll take her out to the desert too. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. You're really crazy. Look, why not have a little fun? I mean, the desert is a big place. We could dump two bodies, no problem. Don't forget, I'm the family hammer now. I'm gonna lead the family back to its glory. Besides, my grandfather, he forgive me of anything. Old man doesn't have much time left anyway. I'm gonna be taking over. We'll be in the movie business by then. Secret plans. Make sure that the Monsignor and Judge Keller are taken to the airport and plenty of time to make their flight. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's important my witnesses can't be corrupted or intimidated by anyone. You want to level with me? What's this all about, this sudden rush to get a will made up? You're in with them, aren't you? Claire Cusio. Yeah. Like Dad was? Yeah. Like Dad was. You know, I had this nagging fear about Bob Scannett. And now I understand why you let Bobby Vance screw you out of your points in Messalina. What can I do? Stay close to Athena tonight. Take care of my affairs and keep your mouth shut. The chances of me staying alive right now are great. something I have to tell you. I lied about your husband. What do you mean? I don't want there to be a lie between us. No. No, you swore to me. I know. I didn't want to lose you. I'm done it himself. 
Don't you see if you were innocent, then I was too. Look, this doesn't change anything. What do you mean it doesn't change anything? It changes everything. I believed you. You were the one man I, I ever trusted. I believed that you were going to come to France to live with Bethany That's and what me. I, want. I wanted us to be a family. It can still happen. It's still possible. How is it still possible? How can we live with this, knowing this? I don't know, but we will. We'll do it. Oh, don't walk away from me. I don't have a lot of time. Then make a decision, Cross. Come with me now and leave this behind. If you really think that we can make this work, then just come with me now. I can't. I have to see this through. Am I ever going to see you again? If I don't come to France, you'll know I'm dead. For you listen to this. It's a young girl, of course, but I don't know if she's a hooker or she's a, a religion major, I don't know what. <laughs> and she gets brutally raped and then she gets murdered Bobby, she Bobby, Bobby, <laughs> Ixnay on the itch pad. I've got other plans for Johanna here. Why, why don't you uh why don't you get me a refill on this? Okay? Hey, hey, hey. Come on. You want some? I'll take your olive. Uh, you look great. Why don't you introduce me to your movie star? Oh, boy. Down boy. Down. Goddess, so are you gonna dance with me or oh. what? I thought you'd never ask. You should see the dailies. You are so sensational in this movie. You are so great in this film. He's right. Oh, thank you. He's right. Thank you, but I'm off to Paris. No, no, no. Athena, I want you to know that Lovestone loves you. I love you. You have a home. Thank you. We do love you. Thank you. We bye, love, bye We love you, and I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. I hear wonderful things about Miss Selena. Hey. It's all right. I know I'm a detective. Low C. Right. She doesn't need a bodyguard. I'm a detective for the Los Angeles Police Department. I saw some of your dailies. And I gotta say, I have never seen a better body. Especially that ass. Well, that wasn't my ass, but thank you anyway. You're the best looking woman I've ever met. I'm in the next villa with some friends. How about joining us for a drink? I'm sorry, I can't. I've got an early flight. Bloodstone has approached me to make a movie about my life. And you'd be great in it. <laughs> How about you invite me in? Can I have a drink and talk about it? What is this? Miss Aquantine's security. You have to leave. You see this? See this? This means I'm going to kick the crap out of you. And then I'm going to lock your ass up. You're Los Angeles. You're out of your jurisdiction. I'm Las Vegas County. It's all right. Don't make a big deal out of it. Let's go. I'll remember you. Let's just say that right now I've got bigger fish to fry. Hey, Cross. Nice party. Glad you're enjoying yourself, Dante. 
Have a good time. Yeah, listen, I need to see you right away. Okay, come up. No, these are orders. Not on the phone, not in your suite. I need you to come down. I'm by the pool. So what's going on? Giorgio flew in. He's in my building. He needs to see you right away. He's pissed off. I think he found something out about your old man. OK. Let's go. After you. you would like to slap me again, huh? Yeah. What am I? You know I'm a cop. Yes. We know that. I know you set that guy scanning up. I'll get you for that sooner or later. It will have to be sooner, huh? There is no later. Oh! <laughs> soon. It's done. Come on, wash up. Go back to the hotel. Give me your goat. What about the blood? It's all over. I'll take care of everything. You just wash up, you go to the party. It's very important you're seen there, huh? You are, he is the man. Thank you so much. You and I are going to do pictures. We're going to do pictures help. We don't need Dina Ackwood to the star. I got Joanna here. <laughs> Meet Lotstone's new star, Joanna San Germain. Joanna San Germain. I like that. I have the hand of the Leovazzi. He was a qualified man that spared no expense. Twenty million dollars went up in smoke to hide the bloodstains. <laughs> Of your 
Somewhere off the coast of California, there was a communion. The bodies of Detective Jim Losey and my grandson Dante had a rendezvous with the fishes. Mr. Delena? Mr. Delena? Mr. Clericuzio is here. Yes. I've been expecting him. I hope everything's all right. Everything's fine, Jerry. Don't worry. Giorgio, what a surprise. I'll call down and get a villa ready for you. No, there's no time. Where's Dante? Dante? Uh, he's, he's here somewhere. I saw him last night. Don wants to see you. I have the plane waiting. Uh, should I pack a bag? Or is this a one-way trip? I don't know. I'll wait here. That's right, get used to it. I want you to know the smell of blood. You were my little boy. And I left you in the counter. You have a tender heart. Time will harden it. I kill him. Don't you see? If you were innocent, then I was too. There's a lot of ugliness in this world, son. Be careful. The blood is on you, Chris. Come with me now and leave this behind. A little seven up in it, please. Pop, it's great wine. Chianti from your old friend, Alexi Trolli in Sicily. I need it sweetened a little. Today, I, I need it sweetened a little. <laughs> it was cleverly done, Crocefiso. But now you must explain your reasons. You must answer to all of us. Where is he? Don't screw around, Cross. Just tell us what you did with the body. Who says I killed Dante? I do! Understand. I have pronounced you guilty. And there is no appeal from that judgment. Now, 
You must justify the killing of my grandson. Cross, tell my father the truth. It's your only chance. Dante killed my father. I judged him guilty as you judged me guilty. He killed my father out of revenge and ambition. He was a Saint Taddeo in his heart. And I think you must have known he was guilty and did nothing. How could I come to you to redress the wrong? How could I not avenge my father? All of you must know Dante is guilty. And who knows what he planned after he killed me? Next, his uncles. Dante and that detective are swimming at the bottom of the ocean. Why should we compound my daughter's grief? She will be told her son has fled. For justice or no, you have committed a crime against the family. There must be punishment. For you, money. For Leovazzi, his life. Let me ransom him. I own half the Xanadu. I transfer that ownership to you as payment for me and Vazzi. You must move out of our world. Leovazzi must return to Sicily, with his family or not, as he pleases. That's as far as I can go. You and Vasi will never speak together again. I order my sons in your presence never to avenge the death of their nephew. Let me assure you, I have no knowledge of Dante's plans. Remember, I always loved your father like a son. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm gonna be head of Lodstone Studios. My God, Claudia. You're the toughest of the Claracuzios after all. When her plane landed in LA, all hell broke loose. They arrested Bobby Bantz. That girl he was with, um, Joanna. She was only 15 years old. They got him on statutory rape. Anyway, everybody got scared. And the studio is being sold to an Italian gentleman. Uh-huh. Look, I know it was all set up. <laughs> Joanna included. Arranged by the Don himself. He was angry because Lodstone cheated you. I'm a Clara Cusio cross. Let's see what can happen when I use the family talents for good instead of evil. Claudia, <laughs> everything worked out according to my plans. How easy it is to outwit the young. But how painful to set the world straight. I saw Dante as the great danger, yet what could I do? Order the death of my own grandson? When Pippi Delena was killed, the die was cast. Now, at last, the Clericuzio will make its final retreat. Let other men groan over their sins. I accept mine and place my faith in God. After all, I had set Croce Fiso free.
I was born in Sicily, where society and government were the enemy. I could will myself as a slave to earn my daily bread without dignity or hope. Or I could earn my bread as a man who commanded respect. I have a vision that I will live forever. The Claracuzio blood will be part of mankind forever. My family was my society. God was my punisher. But oh, what a wicked world it is that drives a man to sin.